Ba -ba -ba -dow theme song. Welcome back to Solid Con. Whoops. Welcome back to Solid Content, and welcome back to Stream Haven. How's everybody doing? Berrigan already asked. Good morning, everyone. How's everyone doing? And y'all are talking about AIs in the chat already. And Lon threw up a super chat. Lon, you little flirt. What a wonderful person. Um. We, uh, yeah, the AIs. Wouldn't it be weird if you found out that I didn't exist? <laughs> that this whole thing was an AI uh, experiment? <sighs> Vappy says, doing okay. The king asks, do I have a cat? I don't have a cat. I do not have a cat. We're a dog family, but we aren't, we don't have one of those either. So we're not really an anything family. Okay, let's catch up. What are we doing here? We were researching the salvage bot. But I do think we should be researching like shields <laughs> and weapons and stuff. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change to. Um, I'm gonna change to. Uh, I'm gonna change to guns. I think. What do we need here? Weapons console or shields console? I think I'm gonna change out of salvage bot guys because we need. We're gonna need some like protection here. Uh, let's go shields and start researching that. We've got these areas open now, so I think that could be a couple of guns. And then we can find a spot for some shields down here. Now we have our hull stabilizer. What was that? Oh, it, keep, it keeps ringing. Super chat. Lon, again, if you don't have a cat, that URL is even weirder. Hey, look. All right. No, nobody should be looking at my um, personal uh, screen. All right. If anything, if a search, if you accidentally see something incorrect on this channel, you gotta just close your eyes and wait for it to pass. Oh, Bird is here. I mean, everybody's here. I gotta say hi to everybody. Lon, obviously, gotta say hi. Megan! Megan's here, saying hi to Mrs. Olive. Estevan is here. That means we have everybody. Uh, that's why we got everybody here, basically. Um, It's going good, Bird. It's going very good. All right. Uh, we, okay, we were building... Okay, I needed some soft blocks. So we're building up our, uh... Our, you know, med bay. And I think we can get a double door here. Eh, right on the edge. Wait, <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> Move that. There. Okay, so then wait, that doesn't... Oh, okay, okay, I see. We can carry this wall along here. And that kind of matches uh, that... Okay, so we just need to move this like little power node here, which I think is fine. Like, what does it link to right now? Oh, that's gonna move. If we move that one away, it's not gonna fit. <laughs> yeah, but I can put it over here after I uninstall it. I can put it right there on that wall. On that wall. Apparently I can't talk today. Dismantle this. I gotta be careful with my voice today because we've I've got an interview video to record next. Ooh, <laughs> and again that's gonna be coming out uh, next week uh, when this game comes out. Same process when he is murdering prisoners. Then what are you guys talking about? Barrigan says I hadn't had a chance to watch the last stream. Hopefully nothing too important happened. We did a lot of grinding. Uh, we did a lot of grinding, and we extended the back end of the ship a little bit. So, yeah, nothing too crazy happened. Um, I don't think we lost anybody. Did we lose anybody? Did I put a window there? No window going into this section. So, one, two, three, double door. One, two, three, mm, double door, which I can't place just yet because of the thing. Okay. So, yeah, no, I don't think nothing too crazy went down. Um, Mrs. Zolid is trying to keep me in line. Uh, Team Fiasco says, we know he doesn't listen. Hey! <laughs> so true. Toxic Smasher says, I upgraded to 61 FPS. Oh, you can see this, can't you? This is uh, because I'm sharing my monitor, not doing the uh, uh, what's it thing. Lon with another super chat. My goodness. $5 towards the keeping of Solid in line. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pass that to the wipers, and she'll keep me in line. I was thinking we could do sh two shield batteries here. What do you guys think? Two shield batteries back here, and then two weapons here. That might be enough to wear down a ship. We might have to place another round of weapons. Uh, we can get rid of this. I think we got to design this area, too, which is also not on the power grid. This is just chaos. It's just chaos here today. 
What what did uh, past us do? And what, when I say us, I mean I'm including you guys because it's like you guys have to keep keep this ship going. It can't just be me. Uh, what kind of flooring did we like for this? Oh no, oh, heavens no, oh heavens. Oh, this door hasn't been built yet. Oh, where's that? Is there a control Z? Nope, there's no control Z. Uh, let's just do that for now. Um, where was that flooring that I really liked? Maybe it was this tile. Was it this tile? Where I can try it? No, there was another one somewhere that was like more. Maybe it's that. It's one of these like. I mean, that one's not bad. It looks padded. It looks like it has little divots in it, like it's a soft floor. Barrigan, wait, a dev interview? What game? Uh, well, it's not out yet. There's like an embargo on it. Um, but I will say this, it's a very casual game. It's like a sort of like a, it's got a, I think it's multi-platform. Oh, the game has frozen a little bit. Oh, the game's back. The game's back. We're good. We're good. Lawn gives me another, okay, super chat with the lawns. <laughs> Dumbledore for president. Random enough? Okay, that was pretty random. Uh, Tugu is here. Yes, I made it. Welcome, Tugu. Mrs. Solid needs to dangle a hot dog on a stick in front of you. <laughs> that actually would. That would probably keep me focused. Although, it would keep me focused on the hot dog. Maybe it was this one. I think, was that the flooring that we want for the, uh, for the, the med bay? Or is it more of that? Or is it more typical, like this thing? I guess it's the no, it's probably this one. But there was one that I saw somewhere. I forget where I saw it. It was on another ship. Lainey says, solid, all caps. What did I do wrong? Oh, she's just saying hi. Hi, Lainey. Hi, Lainey. What's up? No. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say it. One of my favorite things to say was always, what's up with your bad self? <laughs> I don't know what it means. Will you play Starmancer when it comes to early access? Though it seems Windows are not yet implemented. If there's no Windows... Oh, thanks, uh, Septic Tank. Some, something keeps flashing in the bottom left. Down here? Uh, I don't know what that is. Laney, it has been a while, and you're back, and it's the best. And you're going to stick around, and we're going to stream for a good couple... I think it was just this floor. I think this was the floor, but well lit. When it's well lit, it looks a little more... Okay, here, we're ready to go. Uh, I just don't know if I like that for the for this room. I think we just go traditional with it, with that, which is a bummer. And then we make sure to get... Uh-oh, we got to get that power node built. And we make sure to just get a bunch of uh, lights in here to make it look a little more, like, clean and... and um, uh, what's it? Clean and, like, sterile and, and, and med bay-ish. Okay, so let's get some more lights in here. What makes the most sense? We could do a light every... Oh, that's a lot of lights, though. That's a little bit silly. That's a lot of lights. That's, like, too many lights, I think. Like, maybe it's, like, a calm-down amount of lights. Oh, they're all... Go okay, <laughs> that was weird. I thought they all disappeared for a bit. Is the game being a little weird today? I don't, I don't know. It could just be my computer. Because uh, it did do that freeze for a bit. Let's move this over here. Okay, they're building that power node, so I'll be able to <laughs> sort out the power to the rest of this place soon. What about one there, and then we take this one, and we move it down one. And then we can put a light here, and uh, that's not quite going to be symmetrical, but okay, we can deal with that later. All right, let's connect this up here. There we are. The chat's going off today. i got to keep up with it here. Uh, we're talking about Laney. We're talking to Laney. Uh, makes it seem like it's not available on Windows OS, Berrigan says. What's happening? I don't know. Something's wrong with my computer, maybe? Maybe. I got four lights. Dr. Evil, I didn't spend six years in evil medical school to be called Mr. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mr. Evil. Okay. Uh... Oh, Bear again. Yeah, we're all sharing some nice uh, stories about Lainey and how we continue to blame her for my shortcomings. It is true, and it will continue. Okay, we got two lights there. The windows, I wish you could just put lights, you know what I mean? Like a light right there above the autopsy table would be great. Or above these beds. But it's a design thing. It's just like the way it is, you know what I mean? Okay, so let's get that light there. And we could put a light, uh, we could just put a light over here. Okay, fine. It's not symmetrical. What do you want from me? Do you know what I mean? Put it there, too. 
hide a little light on the corner. And we can't do that there, but I bet this one is uh, set to empty, isn't it? Although we should keep it, I guess. I just can't decide anymore. No, let's get rid of it. And we already are. Okay, okay, good. Yeah, get, get rid of it so there's a clean way for, like, stretchers and stuff to come through into the bedroom area. Stand with Lainey. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is all Lainey's fault. Okay. Um, are there floor lights? Is there floor lighting? That would be a great thing to add, don't you think? Because then you could just, like, you don't have to worry about all the little placements. You can get things really packed in there. In other news, we got to set up our uh, this. So let's go for an if rule of less than 50. If less than... Oh, wait. Uh, let's just go... That's going to be a lot of work. Let's go if less than, like, 20 hyperfuel. And energy rods, let's go if less than 50. I just want to make sure we already we always have some energy rods sticking around. Which will go through a lot of our energy, uh, but not all of it because it's double uh, to make that. So that's good. Then the compost thing we have to set up an order for. Let's do... Let's set up an order for none of this stuff, obviously. What is... Re recycling processed food is very bad. Like, that's a very big waste of resources. Human meat, let's set a continuous for that. Monster meat and the corpses, of which we have none right now. We have some monster meat, though, and we have some human meat. We have some feet to uh, compost. Uh, we're not going to compost anything else because I need... Uh, we need all that biomatter. Maybe not all of it, but we need some of that for the algae dispenser. Uh, okay, that I think we're set to go. Oh, Nicholas is here. Hey, solid fam. Well, hello to you, too. Bird, yeah, the hull integrity is creeping back up. We only just recently got it as soon as I loaded this save. Things that uh, produce less should be converted continuously, like Hyperium to Hyperfuel so it is less mass. That's a really good uh, tip, Istvan. Now, we are well mass-supported for the time being, and I've got enough resources, I think, uh, to get my fourth engine in there. I don't. I just don't know if we need it just yet. I mean, heck, we could just do it. You want to just get it over with? How many? Excuse me. Okay. There we go. We're going into our late ship's uh, engine design. All right. So we're going to have, uh, we're going to be at what? 6,400 uh, mass support. So that's, you know, that's going to that's be pretty good. All right. This is our med bay, which is looking very extensive, to be honest with you. But I kind of like it. Deuce Deuce is here. Been waiting 20 minutes and couldn't play because there was no play button. Said, waiting for solid content. Decided to refresh to be sure. And finally, it let me play. Oh, weird. Oh, so, yeah, maybe it's my computer. Maybe it's the internet. I don't know. Stuff's being... There's some ghosts in the machine today. Turning rocks to oil is helpful as well. No need for both. W uh, rocks to oil? Cry closet? What's that? Are you talking about some other thing? <laughs> Where did I put that uh, ro robot uh, bay? Is it right along here? Oh, it's right it's shoved over in the corner. I like that. I like that. Do you guys know what I'm talking about when I do that? I like that. Okay, this one is not being emptied yet. This one is being emptied, and it's almost at zero. So we just... I, I want to empty this one, but we got to empty these first so we can start converting and redesigning this whole area. Let's even just start from scratch, hey? Let's, like, dismantle this... And um, we'll keep the turlet. This was our med bay before. It had room for like what? One bed? Maybe two. Maybe two beds. Okay, let's dismantle all this and see what we're dealing with. All right. And then let's get this oxygen jenny. Like, I don't know, somewhere else. So where was this? Right down here like so. So we can put it right there. I don't know if we want to put an oxygen generator in the airlock. We need to find a better spot for that oxygen generator, but, and we need oxygen generators up here in this area. However, they're mad uncomfortable. People hate them. I guess it makes sense. I mean, they're not the worst. No, no, yeah, look, minus 20 is about as bad as it gets. This is what, minus... Oh, never mind. <laughs> minus 140. YouTube has been a bit wanky lately. Yeah, YouTube is a weird one, isn't it? Um... Ratchet says the ship looks like a truncated Galactica hangar pod. I see it. I see it. That's rad. I like it. Why is hull stability taking so long to get up? What is it? Me in the morning? Oh, 
welcome to Solid Content, everybody. My name is Solid Content. <laughs> okay, power situation. Let's take a look here. Uh, we got to get this sorted out. So they're missing some power in the middle here, but I have put in a floor node. This is all. Di this power here is directional, so that this area doesn't just like suck up all the power constantly which has created a little bit of an issue in terms of getting power to this area of the ship. This power node here is basically just full up. I could hide some power nodes around here. Uh, I'm, I'm down with any tips you might have. So we've got a wall node here, which I want to say walnut, but I won't. We could also just put a floor, because here's the thing, folks. If we put a floor node here, that'll power all this stuff. And it's like the research table, some lights, and some beds. That's not that, that doesn't need that much power. Am I right am I, or am I right? You know what I mean? Let's just get a floor node right there. Yeah, floor node right there should be good. We can connect that up to that. Then we can. What's going on in this area here? We've got an enter. We got a wall node over here and a wall node here. So that's kind of covering everything there. This area already has another oxygen generator. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Oh well, we're not producing a lot of O2. Um, we'll get that built. That's going to help our lives. We're going to get... I'm trying to think here. I'm trying to think, but nothing's happening. We can put a room here. We can have this wall come up here, so that keeps ourselves a little hallway. If we want to keep doing hallway life, uh, we certainly can. But again, we're going to need to power it. And right now, we've got a weird power layout. Like, what's this floor node doing in here? Get that floor node out of there. So we need to get this uh, floor node out of here. We need to put, like, a proper power node in. Vampy is shilling for Peter and Chris. There's a new episode coming out tomorrow. Don't forget to check out Solid on his other channel. You won't regret it. Vampy, I'm glad you like it. That just makes my day. It's weird. We get weird with it. And it's not going to stop. It's going to continue getting weird with it. Um, oh, yeah, there's a lot of work to be done here. I am getting lots of deja vu right now. I'll tell you that much, which is a weird feeling. And I know that some of the apocryphal whatevers is like, oh, that means you're exactly where you need to be, or something like that. And I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna believe that. Cryclasses says I need more vents everywhere. That's a pretty good piece of advice. The only issue is, well, I guess I could just like mass close vents when there's a fire, as opposed to little doors and stuff. Life support, air vent. Okay, I'm gonna follow it. I'm gonna take his advice. Let's get some air vents up in this piece. Love this song by Patrick Zimmerman. The Patrick the, the the power grid is looking eerily like Texas, uh, says my dime. Let's take a look here. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I think we need yeah, we're gonna need this energy th this energy creator here. It needs a power, a wall node to connect to. It's gonna be a little bit redundant. Where can we put this sucker? We can put it right here, but then it can't connect to that. Oh, boy. Here, but then it'll power the energy reactor thing. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want power to be drawn into this area. So I'm trying to keep it separate, but it's impossible to do. Because I put it... You know what? That's my fault. I put the industry area, and I tried to control the power flow through to it. I put the industry area right next to the power generator, so that's a little bit stupid. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to clip this. Hang on, pause the game. I'm going to clip this and turn it into a regular bi-directional link. All right, we're not doing anything fancy anymore. The fanciness is over because this power node has to do some work. Then a wall node here, some friggin' where, connects to, uh, to it. Right there. Uh, I think that works. Because don't we have something right there like that? No, but we moved that over, so I like that. Okay, I like that for this. Redundant power links are good because if one gets damaged, others can take over and forward your power. Yeah, e exactly. So that's the situation. What we need to do is figure out a way. Because right now, if you look at our links, all the power generation, if this dies, the entire forward section of the ship is destroyed, <laughs> is useless to us. So I'm going to get a wall node over here. That's going to connect up to here, uh, to another floor node if we can, or something. And then we're going to continue on. And then, and then it'll be a nice big circle. But we won't have any directional power supply here just because 
Uh, just because, you know, I wanted to, but hey, I put the industry right near the generators. It's, it's a problem. Ooh, it's different, but yes, it's great. You guys are talking about the podcast. And Team Casco says, and Chris is so handsome. Hey! <laughs> I mean, he is. I get that he's the hot one, but what about me? I got, I got vibes. Listen, one of us is married and the other is not. That's all I'm going to say. And it's me, by the way. So maybe I'm the hot one. <laughs> Oh, Lainey likes it too. That's nice. Wait, did she say that? I can't see Lainey's chat. Um, and then we've got Miles Anderson in the chat. Is this Company of Heroes 3? <laughs> Miles, you know better than the rest of us. I don't know why. You know as well as us that uh, Company of Heroes 3 is going... There is no Company of Heroes 3. It's That company's gone. And I'm bummed about it. Those were good games. Although I have this really um, crazy friend, just a real unstop, just a real, just a real mess of a person, and he wanted. Actually, let's keep those walls there. Yeah, he was like, "Oh, let's play this version of Company of Heroes called Blitzkrieg. It's like a mod." And oh boy, was that thing a mess! It has a multiplayer version. Hear me out for a second. It has a multiplayer version. Wherein you, uh, oh wait, empty, we gotta set this up. It is a multiplayer version wherein you can, the three of you can play, uh, the same, you know, comp stomp map. You're having a good time. Select all, uh, none. And then bring here and medicine bring here. Where's medicine? Wait, why can't I find it? Are my eyes, am I blind? There it is. And so we're playing this game. Okay, bring here. We're playing this game, and it's... We steadily realize, we're like, okay, come join me at the... Like, bring your panzers around to this pass on, on Blitzkrieg, right? And we steadily realize that the game, the multiplayer game we were playing, has desynced. And what it was doing was just allowing us three different instances of a, a single-player game. So we all thought we were playing the same game, but really... On his map, teams two and three had taken over, like us two, had been taken over by an AI. And then on my map, teams one and three had been taken over by an AI. So we actually weren't playing with each other. We were just on Discord, I guess, playing the same game single player together, talking about how much fun we were having together. And the game was lying to us the whole time. It had desynced. Maybe like, I don't know, half an hour into the game. And we were just sitting there. Come on, if that's not weird, I don't know what is. I mean, it's not weird necessarily. It is, it makes perfect sense. But there's something dystopic about it. That you like have no idea that you're just playing by, uh, playing by yourself. Like, it's, there, there's something, it's almost like the, the, the movie Her. Where it's just like, I, I betrayed you a long time ago and I didn't, and I didn't even tell you. I've been playing you. And you're like, oh, cool, thanks. Really awesome. Really big fan, thanks. Okay, if I bring this wall up one more, I could put oxygen generators right near the weapons. I could have an oxygen generator here and here on either side of the ship, feeding oxygen down the tubes. Um, and it's not, this is, there's not a big damage model in the game, so they're not going to have the ships destroyed by doing that. Like, this arm isn't going to get blown off. Which would, you know, sever my connection to elect to, to the oxygen. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to move this wall forward because we don't use this space anyway. Oh, wait. Yes, we do because I'm an absolute fool. We do need to dismantle this. So we get we don't get a window into this area here. That's what we don't get. Okay, same thing over here. I think it's worth it though, folks. We didn't even put a window here anyway. Okay, so this floor node, what's your deal? What's your deal, baby girl? Sorry, I, I talk weird. It's a weird day. I had some weird dreams last night. I think it's... I blame that second shot. I got my second COVID uh, 5G injection. And oh boy, did I have a rough day. Taro Huala is here. Greetings. Welcome, Taro Huala. Deuce Deuce is talking total gaslight. Worst glitch in any game is the <laughs> Call of Company of Heroes desync. It's, it's such a weird desync. It's so weird. And it's also like... Hey, let us know. Do you know what I mean? Just be like, oh, by the way, there was a desync. You don't just, like, not tell people. Don't tell them. 
We'll tell him later that, that it's done. Okay, so if I move this one over, that means I can get the oxygen generators over there. So let's move this one to there. Great, that'll give us a little extra space here to get the weapons. We got the shields going in back here. This thing is now kind of in place. We're going to put storage right next to it, storage across from it. Uh, but there's no power grid in this area. That's okay. We can link this sucker now. Pow! Pow! There! Slightly more controlled uh, power scenario. We got this we can link up now. Bang! We can link up all the way up there, but that doesn't matter. Okay, there we go. We now have a ship with power kind of all over the place. We have a med bay in the middle here with windows looking into it. So you can be here looking into the med bay, looking at your fallen comrades. And you can, you know, press your face up against the glass as a little alien spider bursts from their stomach. Then this whole area gets taken over by alien bugs. Uh, bug bite if you're listening. This is, this would be awesome. Please do that. All right, we're working on this area. I really want to get, okay, one item left to get out of here. And then we can kind of like deconstruct and take a look at what we want to do here. I'm thinking like barracks, like rooms, right? In the chat, can you guys tell me what I'm missing? Laney's taking off, but Laney, you just... You're going to leave it running for the for the views? I love it. Laney, you're going to leave... Um, you're going to leave, but you, you, have a, you just got here. <laughs> no, it's fine. Miles brings up a good point. Imagine if death was like the co Company of Heroes desync. That'd be a, that'd be weird. I was thinking about okay, so real talk. Uh, I have to go say goodbye to my grandfather soon. But um, back to fake talk. Uh, I was thinking about the you know how none of us make it off this thing alive. <laughs> you know, sad stuff like that. And uh, I was thinking that like I've heard some folks say that like maybe it's. <laughs> people just making stuff up by the way this is not like real science but like what if it's it, it's similar to a company of heroes desync what if it's like you just sort of um like time slows down so slow that you're kind of in those last few moments uh for the rest of it now here's the thing that could be absolutely horrible uh for some people <laughs> so it's all about like being surrounded by family or something like that and then you just get to sit in that as time slows and slows and slows Although, the more I say that, the more I'm like, wait, that, yeah, that's terrifying. I wouldn't want that at all, because, what's this hallway like? Uh, but yeah, but anyway, that's what we were talking about. So I'm going to try to go be there. Try to surround him with family. That's all you can do. Whoa, it just like double placed that. Okay, let's get this one here and get some walls in there. Okay, so right now these are like little apartments. I, I that's that's the dream here. We'll see if this works. Kind of in there. I feel like this design is a little better. What's going on here? What do we got going on here? What's the? Why is the design a little different? I know why the design's a little different because it was made by me. Solid content. And proper storage. Uh. Istvan, can you? Istvan, can you not? Well, what is Istvan? Wait, you guys already can emit your own 5G? Oh yeah, dude, once you get your second shot, it's all, I can emit 5G, it's all good. Which is why, like, you're wondering why the stream is so solid? Boom, it's because of me. If memory serves me right, I read somewhere that the moment of death is supposedly a euphoric experience. Yeah, and I think, I mean, I think it's one of those things where obviously one hopes to have a peaceful death. Uh, and then it's euphoric. I imagine it's very much not euphoric if it's if it's in a moment of you know intense fear or something like that. And not to be you know dark or sad, but you know I think that's the dream, right? The, that we can all have like a nice you know no, you know a good death. Although maybe there's the Klingon vibe. You know what I mean? Dying in battle. I bet that's euphoric as well in its own way. Where you're just like, oh, holy crap! I am. That's it for me. I'd love to die saving a bunch of people from like a burning building or something and just be like, that's how you go. That's how you go. There we are. Let's move this power node over here. Listen, we don't have to talk about death the whole time. <laughs> Pod hangers are missing, are they not? Oh, crap. Oh, no, no. I shoved two of them in here. There's only two, but again, we're doing a small crew run. Should we do some trading? No, I think we should get out of here. Let's move on. Let's go find... Let's change the scenery. 
we leave the safety of wait let's zoom out here we leave this the relative safety look at the size of that ship good lord the cultists are not messing around although that is only two uh guns two engines like our ship is arguably more compact and once we get our guns up it's going to pack a similar punch and also how many hull stabilizers do they have hull stability 100 so what will we have eventually 57 <laughs> okay we'll have 100 so this is a very safe area but you know uh, a, a harbor a, a ship at harbor is safe but that is not what a ship is meant to do and so the SCS Reynolds moves on. Let's go take a look at what this derelict vessel has for us. The chat is going crazy. Team Fiasco got disintegrated. I don't know what that's about. I hope he's okay. Uh, Peter attacked the military. Maybe they have Scott. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is the episode, or this is the, the channel with Scott. Now, our shooty team, ever since the update, might have changed their effectiveness. So we gotta, Let's take a look at this. So that's Bailey. Bailey, Bayleaf. Weapons 1, accuracy 46. A uh, minus 20 mod on the shotgun. But a shotgun's a bit of a spray and pray. Weapons 1, accuracy 70, with the assault rifle plus 10. So I don't know, like, Brooke and Bailey maybe shouldn't be on the team here. Accuracy 104, weapons 3, assault rifle plus 10%. Great work. Brooke maybe needs a shotgun as well. I don't know. But then she'd have an accuracy of like, what, 4, 50, 40, 50? So not ideal. Uh, and Time and Sam, weapons 3, accuracy 64 with the shotgun minus 20. So we have three shotguns and an assault rifle. That's pretty good for now. Uh, Zowie has weapons of 3, 96%. Her base is 96% because she doesn't have a weapon right now. What do we have for weapons? Uh, vote in the chat. Does she get an AR or a shotgun? Because I'm going to fire somebody from the shooty team. I think I'm going to fire probably Bailey. Uh, time in. I'm going to fire Bailey from the uh, from team one. Let's add her to team two. Let's just undraft her before she gets on the ship. Zowie, we're going to draft you. Uh... I'm still waiting for the chat to vote. I thought we had a... Okay, Istvan says the assault rifle. So that's two and two. That would give us two assault rifles and two shotguns in our away team. Okay, there's an assault rifle over here. Let's head over here. Megan Fitzgerald. There was a random lady walking around telling us we're all sheep. There was something about the Johnson & Johnson potentially causing nerve damage, if I remember. Okay, yeah, that's... Okay, listen, like, again, I'm get, You know, last time we talked about, like, politics or something. No, we talked about healthcare. We're still talking about healthcare. Look, we're obsessed with it. It's a hard time for all of us. And I'm not here to, like, crap on anybody's sort of, uh, you know, fears or beliefs or whatever. Uh, but, yeah, calling people sheep, just, like, just relax. <laughs> I like listening to experts. What can I say? All right. It's weird that that lady was running around calling you sheep. But, hey... Uh, maybe, actually, that's a good point, uh, Megan, bah. <laughs> Where's the king? <laughs> okay, yeah. Maybe that's related to the, uh, sheep cult that we started from, uh, from Foundation. So that could actually be a good thing. That lady that was yelling at you, that, that rando was probably not random. She was probably, uh, a fan of solid content. All right. Let's go here. Let's board this thing. Didn't save. No save, scum. This is the new Team 1. This group right here. This is Team 1. Look at that. They moved out in a perfect line together. They are a pretty... They are good to go. This team is good. All right. Brooke, Zoe, Timon, and Jamie board the ACS Titanium Goose. All right, I'm seeing a lot of... Okay, we're going to have hauler action in here. So let's... What's a good spot? What if we do this? Let's bring Brooke... No, let's bring Zowie... Zowie forward here. Oh. Oh. Okay, wait. Uh, that was bad. It's probably loaded up another another charging attack. Let's pop that door open. And then come here. Oh, damn. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That wasn't too bad of a hit. Took a big bite out of Zoe, but that's okay. 
we deal with these this spider here and then we'll move forward oh let me know how the audio is by the way solid's marketing team needs some work <laughs> Wait, there's a tiny white cow in the foundation? Chaos Bubbles is back and he says, Windows! Agreed, there are windows involved in uh, Space Haven now. Has there, uh, uh, chickens are still cooler than both of those, except roosters, they're crazy. Okay, but, and here's the thing. Why don't we have, I love chickens by the way, I like uh, them as animals, and I like how tasty they are. I have no issues there um but why aren't there chickens in foundation that's the real question why can't we raise chickens in foundation all this talk of raising chickens though and by talk i mean like i'm the one say, doing the talking uh kind of makes me want to uh play some more ostrieve have you guys been playing ostrieve i'm working up a little ostrieve content if i'm being honest with you very chill playing the sims 4 is adding chickens all right well I guess I'm reinstalling Sims 4. I should anyway. Uh, the wifer likes it, as do I. It's a good design game. Do you think I should be a Sims 4 streamer? There's nothing on this ship. What was the point? Ah, come on. Get out of here. All right, let's uh, salvage the... We need soft scrap. Let's do the tech and the energy scrap expedited. Uh, what do we have on board the Reynolds here? What Do we have enough infra scrap? We've got a lot of infra scrap and we have a lot of infra blocks, so we're not going to go through those anytime soon. Um, been waiting for it to get further in dev. Ostriv? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I will start playing Foundation when there will be... Ch oh, Istvan's going back when there's chickens. I get it. Oh, uh, I need to check out and we need to live stream it again because... Okay, Zoe's picked up some alien meat and is just chilling, just standing there. Oh, she's waiting for that ship. Okay, okay, I see what's going on. Never mind, I won't, I won't complain then. Um, yeah, I don't know if you saw Foundation has totally updated their UI, so we gotta stream it again. That's not on the power grid for some reason. What's going on here? <sighs> okay, fine. I'll just give you a little floor note. And then you'll stop complaining, right? If I give you this floor note, will you stop complaining? <laughs> uh, Deuce Deuce says, once you own The Sims, you don't have to reinstall it, do you? The thought if you owned it once, you purchased it the first time. Oh, yeah, no, I mean, I own it. But I, you know, regularly uninstall it so that there's room on my computer. Good, so we'll get these tables built. Somebody pointed out that this is like an insane amount of tables for a small ship. So, yeah, that's a good point. We can make this a bit smaller, but I kind of like the size of it. And, you know, we're going to have guests. Both, you know, perhaps unwelcome ones. Okay, here we go, folks. Take a look at this. We've got some rooms that we can make. So I'm thinking, uh, well, we don't have the soft blocks. Let's hang on for a second before we make you know, some rooms. Let's get this thing uh, recycling. Oh, we have lots of soft blocks. Look how much soft scrap we have. Okay, let's put a, a custom logistics priority on highest on that. And let's do some design work, folks. I think we're getting into our mid to late game ship today. My goodness. Do we want the bed there? No, we can't really put a table there anyway. So let's do something like this. And then maybe just a chair in the corner. We don't have anything fun for them to do yet. That's what we need to do is get like an arcade or something. But then people will just be hanging out. Let's do that, and let's get a light in here. And let's get a thermal reg right outside between the two of them. And then, like, a light on either side. There, that looks nice. Oh, the chat's going off. So in for StarCraft II stream. I know, I gotta do that. I think she's, like, nervous or something. But also, I have to, like, literally give her some practice time with a keyboard and mouse. She's, like, a one-hand player, so it'll be, like, she'll have just one hand on the mouse. And then clicking stuff. It's like, no, you gotta have, you gotta have both your hands on stuff. Berrigan says, it's just pure greed with no thought of the customers. And I don't want to support it. What are we talking about? Oh, you're probably talking about Sims 4 a bit. I kind of agree with you on that. I'm gonna, I, I, I don't know. It's tough. I love playing it, though. I'm not going to hold it against people who are playing those games, though. Yeah, I agree with you. I, I, I love playing it. It's a really fun game. I do think that it's way more buggy than uh, even, like, the third, like, Sims 3. 
but I, I totally see what you're saying. Can't You can't argue with with facts, you know, facts on logic or whatever they say. Whatever the memers say. Am I wasting space on this ship by having uh, this much... Like, the, the hallways are really wide on this ship. Am I wasting space? Kind of hard to tell. This area here is going to be totally redesigned once we get all this done. We've got two rooms on the sides, so we'll have individual rooms for... I think the, the goal is to have individual rooms for everybody. This is the captain's quarters, I think. Hal is here. I think Hal should move to a window. Hal deserves a window. The captain? All right. Now, we need a window in here. I thought we... Okay, we do have one... Whoops. Uh, we have one being built, so that's good. There's a floor note in his room, which is annoying to him, I assume. We won't need that here. We could... Yeah, we don't need this floor note either, do we? We could actually just, like, move this into the hallway, even. I mean, for now, let's move it into the hallway. And then we can put a wall note up or something. Um, Miles, Sims is not violent enough for me. If it had a deathmatch mode, I'd be down. I, could, I think Miles... Here's the thing. I think Miles is doing a bit... But also, that would be a mod people would find interesting. If I take that, if I take Miles' comment at his word. <laughs> oh, I've seen Istvan. I've seen uh, Call Me Kevin. Yeah, that guy is, is rowdy. Yeah, I think the dog. I think I have to stream. I have to start streaming every day now just to make sure that uh, the king's dog gets walked. Should the captain have a window or a room without a chance of explosive decompression? Steve asking the real questions. Here's the thing. If we're going... It depends on the rules, right? If we're going Star Trek rules, which I kind of tend to do, or even Firefly rules... Actually, no, those are different. Those are different. Star Trek rules, he's going to have a window, and he's also got, a like, a terrarium or, like, an aquarium. Uh, and that's his ready room. Actually, the captain needs a, an office. Right here. We're going to give him an office right here. <laughs> How's that research going? These people need to research more. We have our... Um, Research skill, let's pop yours up to a high priority. Let's get some research going on here. We're not getting into a, a late game ship, you know, without some of this stuff being researched. Researched. What kind of hallways uh, are we going to do here? Do we go with the Star Wars one? Oh, yeah, and then to finish my thought, which I never do, the Star, the, the, the Firefly rules would, yeah, be the heart of the ship. Like, here would all be the bedrooms. Or maybe they were along the edge. I can't remember. They were along the sides, weren't they? But they didn't have windows. Yeah, it's a home on the beach. Exactly. Uh, Nitro says, I can't believe you're still playing Space Haven. What a chad. How's it going, everyone? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, what do you... You know? You know what I mean? It feels like a little bit of you're ripping on me, but also I kind of deserve it, you know. I get it, is what I'm saying. Okay, I can put a I can put a light there in a second once this light gets built. They are busy. These folks are busy. Gonna move that out of there so we can get that done. This room is just a pain in the butt. Still zero. Okay, we can dismantle that now, but it's taking forever to dismantle. Uh, all right. Well, this this area is ready to design. So. I guess I like how that's placed, but it doesn't look symmetrical inside the the room. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're having a good time. So let's get a single bed. Now, this room is friggin' luxurious. We could put it here. I wish there were tables. We could put little... I mean, we could do this and have little bedside tables, but it doesn't look like a bedside table. So let's put it up against the wall for space. Haven. And let's go... Circular table. There. All right. And then we're going to have uh, some other comfort items in here. We'll make sure we get a, a what's it? A, a thermal regulator in there. And then what is this room? This room was like a bed and a chair. Can have We can have a bed and a chair in here. So we're going to do that. We'll get a bed and a chair. And there. We've got four rooms here. One, two, three, four. Yes. Okay. This is perfect. We don't need a lot more space. Um... We could have, I was thinking, we could have the whole shooty team be its own thing, and they have, like, a little barracks. That could be fun. And then that gives us all this space to work with. Crackleza says, event, perhaps. 
Nitro, I get you, I get you. Yeah, it's, it is an amazing game, and I am still going to be playing it. And and here's the thing, you know, um, it's tough as a YouTuber. It's like, oh, am I, am I just doing whatever I can for the views? And it's like, well, kind of. Otherwise, what's the point? Views are how you know if people like it at all. Okay, there's no point in putting a vent next to a door. That's stupid. But I do agree with Cry Closet that I need more vents. Just like there's a vent, there's two vents with the doors. I think that's gonna be enough vintage. Um, Barrigan is saying that the window is yeah, but again, Star Trek, right? You look out every time we land somewhere, we're near something like this moon. That'd be nice to look at. Vents between rooms are good. Okay, we could do that. We could toss a little vent between this room here, if it allows us to. Right there, but again, there's vents here. Anyway, it'll just... It'll, yeah, okay, it's fine. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Okay, this is starting to look pretty good. This ship is coming along quite nicely. We're about to have all this room that we get to, like, think about. Three things left in that. Then we'll start emptying these ones of all their scrap and crap. Uh, these are still, like, mostly empty. we got to get uh, logistics going on here. Where's my logistics bot? Where are you? Oh, he's still working away. Oh, I love a good logistics spot. Okay, that's not getting built for a while. I think logistics are, like, well overwhelmed. What else is not on a power grid? Uh, yeah, we've got plans for both of those. So, people just need to build it. All eh, right, what's going on here? We're removing that. We're moving this forward. We kind of did that with this. So, we'll get... Should we just have a double door here? That's going to look cool, I think. Or we could have a window right there. Nah, let's just do a double door right into the, like, command section of the ship. Yeah, that's awesome. And yes, I made the sound effect. What do you want? Oh, wait, we can't, because we need three by three. Oh, wait. Oh, I... Hang on, hang on. So these need to go here. This needs to go right... No, we can still do a double door, though. We can still do a double door. Let me dismantle this. Wall. Perfect. Okay, we can build there in a second. Okay, so that's that's going to work. And then we have one, two, three by three right here for the weapon or something. Perfect. All right. My dime is ripping on the view. I mean, I'd like... Come on. I'd like looking at that view. It's no, like, beautiful British Columbia where I live, uh, which is very pretty all the time, except for the rainy season. But, yeah, it still looks cool to look at. All right, how are we doing with this, like scrap and stuff give me all that stuff and then let's get out of here because we are burning through our energy and our water where's my ice melter gotta set up a rule for that let's go uh let's go for uh less than 50 yeah that's a lot of work we're adding a lot of logistics and i am trying to get things done but that's just life on a spaceship especially when it's uh solid content at the helm Oh, is Lainey back? Lainey's back, and she was saying something to... Oh, uh, a heart for Megan, who uh, pronounced her return. The rotating on those oxygen generators bothers me. The rotating on them. As in the, uh, the like, literally just... Or you mean this thing? Or do you mean me rotating them? Or do you mean the word footprint? There's a lot that you could mean. <laughs> All right, we're going to get a door here and here. So this wall can carry forward. There we are. This wall can conclude. I just got back from working out and the food smells good. Chaos bubbles. It sounds like you're kind of having like the uh, a perfect day. All right, what makes, you know what, these, this, the bubbly thing, the, the Star Wars interior kind of works for the bedrooms, I think, if I'm being honest with you. We just got to get some light in there. Lainey says, kind of jealous of your ship solid. Mine ends up being giant squares of doom. Yeah, but that, and that's the thing. The more you try to, like, quickly solve problems, uh, you know, the faster you're going to get to a late game ship, but the sooner you end up with a square. And this thing had a different size. Uh, and a very, a much more unique shape. But as we wanted room for more stuff, you just end up becoming a big square. It makes sense, Lainey. 
I still blame you for the mistake of doing that, but it's it's uh that's life. Bad environment, temperature. We got a temperature problem in here. Oh, spicy. Is it just from this thing? Is it just from the friggin' frigs? All right, can I get a... Uh, what's that noise? Super chat. Giano, bonjour de la monde, space saving fund. <laughs> Giano, thank you very much for that super chat and the two uh, hearts in their eyes uh, emojis as well. You absolute flirt. Um, Giano, that's a pretty good way to announce your entrance into the uh, into the stream. Welcome aboard. Let's put a thermal reg there to try to head off some of that heat that's probably coming through and bleeding through here. Um, Cryclaw says mine end up all looking like chode from Trip in the Rift. Okay, I don't know what that. Can somebody post a, a picture of that? I wish you could post pictures in the super chat in the in the super chat in the chat uh, because I want to see what a ch what the chode is. <laughs> All right, object uh, wall, here we go. All right, what have I done wrong? How, why am I the most stupid? So it's one door here. Wait, what's going on here? Uh, oh, it fits fine, I'm just being an idiot. Okay, 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 okay. I just thought you could get a double door because it really looks like you could. But this doesn't quite match up, does it? That doesn't, like, it doesn't line up. How do I feel? How do we feel about that, folks? What do I do about that? Just made it high. I'll hope everyone is having a wonderful hump day. Bonjour, channel. Bienvenue chez Solid Content, the channel. We are happy to have you here. I don't like how that doesn't line up. And that looks even worse here. Maybe no doors in this hallway. Oh, but it's the it's the friggin it's the airlock though. We need to be able to blow the airlock. All right, what's the new plan here, folks? What are we doing? Let's move this thermal reg uh, to here and put a door right there and right here. So let's move this light to there. Okay, and we're gonna put a door there. All right, it's a weird placement of a door, but at least it lines up a little better, and it doesn't look quite so dumb. Um, yeah, Bear again, I totally understand. He's saying, however, as soon as I try to make it feel more organic, my optimization of space efficiency brain goes haywire. Of course. Of course, and that's the thing. That's why I think people tune in to solid content because they're like, I want to see somebody who plays this game very similar to how a crazy person operates. <laughs> I want to see what it looks like to watch a crazy person play this game. Uh, and so and so that's why, yeah, they like me for that. All right, let's link this one up to that and connect it over there, I guess. I don't know. Oh, yeah, connect this one is now moved. So it doesn't fit. We'll connect it on there. There we go. Now we can move these walls. Let's dismantle that. Let's just dismantle the walls. And let's thermal regs yeah just dismantle it get it out of here just dismantle everything we're dismantling it all why is zoe in a med bed what happened oh, oh wait 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 zoe ain't in an old bed bed zoe's over here she's just chatting uh, i missed i must have missed something maybe she got a concussion let's take a look at her conditions i was held as a prisoner uh i mean when does that go away Post-traumatic stress. She has PTSD because I held her as a prisoner. But Zoe, Zoe, you, what do you? Oh, 11 more days until that's gone. That's not bad. It's okay. That's fine. Major discomfort, uncomfortable environment. She might have just passed out or something. Is there a pet channel in the Discord? Oh, don't we have a? I think Team Fiasco was had some recommendations for me because I'm very bad at this. Bad at this. Lenny says bad, solid. For every bad thing you say about yourself, you have to say two nice things. What would I say that was bad? Oh, I designed like a crazy person. Listen, I'm o I, okay, Lainey, I got you. I, I, and I love you, big fan. But like, we all know that I'm not the Lord's gift to strategy games. Come on. 
<laughs> We're okay with that. Okay, this has been reinstalled. Pow pow, pow pow. Wait, ah, oh, crap. Okay. You need to connect to that. There we go. <laughs> okay. You know, and I'm at peace with that. I understand that there are people that uh, know how to like... Okay, for example, the one reason... There's a reason why I don't do um, uh, Anno 1800 playthroughs. Uh, because people would be like watching me play Anno 1800 being like, why am I watching this guy play this game? Because there are certain games like Anno 1800 or Factorio that are built towards uh, min-maxing. And it's just something that I know I'm not good at. I know I'm, I don't know how to do it. So I'm at peace with that. I'm going to say, it's okay. There's other ways to play games, is what I try to convince myself. All right, what's not on a power grid here? Why, why is everything always complaining to me? Okay, there we go. Power up. Um, now, Anno 1800 is definitely built, uh, you know, around, like, decorating. You do kind of want to decorate it a little bit, obviously. You can have a lot of fun with that. However, the reason I say that is just because, like, to decorate the game... Uh, to decorate a nice city, you kind of need to, like, min-max all of your shipping routes and all of that stuff. And I do like, you know, trying to figure that out. But I'm just saying, like I said, not not that great at it. Okay, this room is looking pretty great. I think that's going to be quite comfortable. Let's see what our comf comfort situation is. The comfort is spreading. Slowly but surely. I wish we could have different styles of beds. That's what I want. Uh, Dakota, Factorio is built for spaghetti and you can't change my mind. <laughs> Dakota, do you play Factorio? In the chat, do you all play Factorio? Like, it, it, here's what it is. It doesn't appeal to me. Ask yourself this. Can solid content place a window or a rug? Then he's probably going to like it and you better tell him about it. If you can't place a window or a rug, then I don't know. It's not for me. Oh, Berrigan, I do play Planet Zoo and City Skylines. City Skylines, uh, he's probably not on the chat anymore, but Miles uh, actually joins me. He's a buddy of mine. Uh, and joins me for... Uh, I mean, you're all buddies, by the way. By the way. Uh, he joins me for um, playthroughs of that. We call it Cities by Committees. Um, so, yeah, I play that a lot. I'm going to move this door over to here, I think. And put a double door up here, maybe. There we go. All right, how are we doing? Let's get out of here. I think we're. I think we've checked this ship out well enough. Uh, Scrubs orders the engines to power up, and we move on with our lives. We're really getting this ship designed today. I love it. Uh, so yeah, I've done some. I've done some. Uh, oh, Lenny plays Dyson Sphere Factory. Yeah, I've heard good things about that. I have about four hundred hours of, of Factorio. Oh my god. Founder's Fortune. I should definitely play that game. That looks fun. It kind of has a stone hearth vibe, kind of like going medieval style. Um, I forget what the question was. Oh, yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of City Skylines video, Cities by Committees, and that's coming back, you know, ASAP, as soon as we can get people back in apartments and stuff and hanging out. Uh, all right, let's jump. Wait, did I check? Okay, we have everybody, I think. Another derelict to explore. We shall explore it then, and we shall get the chemicals as well. Uh, and I did have some Planet Zoo videos. Uh, the views, it was a long time ago. It was before I even had 1,000 subscribers, I think. And the views were not great. Because I think you've got to be a really good designer to play that game. At any rate, I do have a building that I was inspired to build. And the build video is, like, uh, halfway complete. And then I just haven't uh, had a chance to finish the video. So there is a half-edited fourth episode of Planet Zoo uh, on my hard drive. And I, w I promise I will get to it at some point. But it's just like, it's so many hours. I just don't know when I'll be able to finish it. We're talking about Kenshi. Yeah, a lot of people talk about Kenshi. Kenshi seems like a game that I should have been playing for a long time or something that I'm like missing out on or something somehow. All right, boarding party boards. In the meantime, the skeleton crew stays aboard. Hal continues his research. Raven is just going around. Raven's not a real Firefly reference name. I don't know. Anyway, Raven's going about doing her things. Bailey is doing what she does best, which is maintain and improve the ship. Seems like there's not enough light in here, apparently. I don't know why one light in these rooms are dark. 
okay, well, we're going to worry about it later because Team One is ready to embark. They head into the ship and immediately find an absolute cacophony of spiders. I don't know if we're going to have any fat boys. Uh, I don't know if we're going to have any chunksters, but we do have incoming meteorites. We don't have shields yet, so this is going to be a spicy, spicy play. It's going to be like my food. It's going to be like how I like my food. Spicy. All right, pull back, pull back. Grab that spider with gunshots to the face. Excellent work with the murders. Come forward. Uh, I want to play Planet Zoo more, but I just get frustrated by doing his terrible design skills. Everything just looks bad. Oh, to your terrible design skills. No, but here's the thing. I agree with you. I have, I am not very good at like 3D level design. That's basically what it is. It's a 3D level designer, right? Just turned into a video game. I watched my, my, my small amount of time working in video games. I would watch people design levels using the exact same tools that are in Planet Zoo. It's like they just gave us the level design tools from their own game. And so what? I, well, the reason I'm saying that is because that means the best way to get better is just to keep playing. You absolutely will, like, watch it. That's what I did. I have no idea what I'm doing. And I watched some YouTube videos from some real, some big old designers. I forget what their names are. I think the lady designer, I think she does Planet Zoo videos, and they are just absolutely amazing. And, and so you just get started, right? It's just like, just keep tinkering, uh, Berrigan, and, and one day you and I will be... Absolute Planet Coaster uh, fiends. Okay, can somebody repair this, please? Like, pretty quickly? Bailey, I don't know what your plan is. Oh, yeah, get a spacesuit, I guess, and then go repair that, because we are... Uh, we're losing all our oxygen. Can your meteorites hit your crew when they are outside? Oh, the king? That's a great question. Because that could be... Uh, that could be a game ender. Like, that person could just die immediately. Okay, we'll get that done. We got another one here. Can we get Raven on it, maybe? Let's stop. Let's see if Raven's going for a space. We need more spacesuit lockers. Okay, Bailey. Okay, good. She's coming to plug that hole. Wait, why is there another? Oh, wait. Where's the other breach? There's no breach up there. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Bailey, don't take your spacesuit off. Bailey, what the absolute heck is wrong with you? Oh, Bailey, why'd you do that? I don't know why she did that. That was a weird, like, uh, a task loop or something. Oh, my goodness. What did we even get out of that? That's not terrible. It's not a terrible haul, but it's not great. And there's nothing to salvage. Let's just get that stuff off and then get out of here. We got two hull breaches now. We got a, a fresh hull breach. Okay, that's it. I'm closing that vent. Okay, we need shields. <laughs> Wait, am I still researching the salvage robot? Oh, for heaven's sake. Research. Oh, I, I didn't know that was happening. Went away for a phone call, and now the ship is in turmoil. What the heck? Oh, now we got a fire going on. Surely the fire will stop because the O2 level is almost... It's almost out of oxygen. We don't have to put that fire out. I'm not putting that fire out. <laughs> Oh, no, wait, there's a hole here. Oh, no. Oh, oh. It's going to ruin all my plants. No. Hey, is somebody dealing with this hull breach? Assign to Jamie. Go. Oh, boy. The, how is this fire still going? There's no oxygen in here. It's zero. One, three oxygen is enough to keep the fire going? All right, Timon and Bailey are going to put it out. Jamie's fixing the hull breach. The micrometeoroids are hopefully done, but it doesn't seem like they're done. I'm still seeing some slight vintage going on. Zoe is working on this micro breach. This breach is sealed up. The fire is done. We're going to open the vent. Oxygen is headed back in here. All the food has died. Um, this, okay. So this is one of the problems with a low crew count. Look how big this ship is. That is a lot of people needing to manage this ship. This ship is almost a little too big. We actually might need to consider downsizing. Yeah, it's fun, right? It's a, a positive outlook. A whole breach will take care of my fires. Everything in here needs to get repaired. Great. Real fantastic. Let's rebuild that. Still didn't get our freaking tables done. 
Don't we have lots of soft block scrap? We do. Guys, do your jobs. All right, we need to get, okay, more bots. Can we have like a uh, fire putting out bots? Uh oh, I got the hiccups. Oh, this is bad. Let's get another logistics bot right here. <sighs> Somebody scare me, I'm trying, I got the hiccups. All right, uh, this has got no power, but that we know why, we know why. Okay, that's being emptied. This is select all, we're gonna empty that. I really wanna build this area here. Like we need to grow, we need a bigger grow area. <sighs> at least this time you didn't have crew looking at the fire while it's chatting. Oh, look, a fire. Yeah, there's that's that meme uh, that we see going around the internet where they're like the dog is sitting at the kitchen table. Like, this is fine. That's very much what's going on in Space Haven. A lot of like, this is totally okay. All right, this really bad design, by the way. Just people just don't design like me, okay? Uh, it's it's a whole thing. Can we move this over to here though? No, we just we, we just kind of can't. But what I could do is move that over there, and that's gonna free up like maybe we don't need that floor node. Then this would have to move to like here in between the two storage things. We could do something like that. All right, where's that? Yeah, let's get that built uh, ASAP, please. So we can get another logistics robot going on. And do I need to like assign repair tasks to all this crap? No, we do have, most of them are auto assigned except for maybe like the lights. We have to like manually repair those, I think. This should probably get repaired pretty soon here. Maintenance, where the fudge is somebody with a maintenance skill. There, yeah. Repair the air, air, air conditioner first. And that, there we go. Okay. Wait, what's happening? No power. Oh, because this one's not repaired. Oh my goodness, this is just a real pain. Okay, here's the thing. No. Yeah, Bailey, come and repair that, please. We're trying to get this oxygen generator up and running. Here's the thing with um, having no shields. It's the worst. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, it's not an air conditioner. It's an air creator. Yeah, no, totally. Okay. All right, the repairs are starting to happen. Things are moving along again. There there was no point in landing here. Uh, Scrubs orders us out. Not too much action this episode. I apologize for that, but hey, that's life. Okay, we're just hanging out. We're just hanging out the friends. I am trying to get Foundation Stream up and running again, but that building that we let in the last episode, I don't know if you remember, that building is an absolute nightmare. <laughs> Have I done this? Have I explored this? Oh, I must have because we're, yeah. That's where we came from. So I must have explored this. Claimable vessel though. I don't remember exploring that. Can somebody remind me if we, ex yeah, we must have. Because look, it's on the way through the whole system. A hyper lane right nearby. Yeah, we must have explored that. So let's move on. Let's go into this northern system here and see what kind of nastiness we can get up to. Uh, yeah, keep preparing all this stuff. Greetings, everyone. Oh, Emma's here. All right. And survival's here. Final form? Yes, we're just about at the final form. There she is. The SCS Reynolds. Named after Ralcom Menolds. We jump. I'm gonna have to keep resting my voice. Like I said, I got an interview to do today, and I and you'll find out what the uh, what the game is. Um, Barrigan was asking about it earlier, and I will tell you. Okay, do we need to get this gold and stuff? Do we care? Wait, unvisited? Did I jump over all this? There's a nebula which will take down my shields. Was this unvisited? No, we've visited that. So this was we just skipped over this. I don't think I don't think we need the base metals and the noble metals right now. That's just gonna be first of all a bit boring, okay? And second of all, we just don't need it. Okay, uh, we're going to do, do, do that one there. All right. Was this unvisited? I like that it says unvisited. I think it says that every time if you haven't dropped into the sector. So uh, let's let's just go and assume that we've been to all those vessels, and let's go see what's on up here. The androids taking off 
We do need that carbon, I think. We should get this carbon. Pirates are on the way. Do we try to take over this pirate ship? I think this stream deserves action. So we do. All right. We're going to land here. Right in between this and the carbon. We've got seven hours to mine the carbon and the base metals and to finish research on the shields console, at which point we then need to research the shield battery. Otherwise, we'll be killed. Uh, so, yeah, this might be a bit of a save scum situation, or maybe we just have to run really quickly. We'll see how many guns. Uh, in the chat, feel free to drop your uh, strategy suggestions for how to do this, okay? I kind of don't want to just save scum all the time. It, just, it ruins the immersion for me and, um, and the storytelling. So what I want to do is come up with an st overall strategy, like for boarding, yes, but also for like um, a number of guns. Let's just say that. If they, have, if they have like four guns, we get out of here immediately. If they have two, we can, we'll play it a little bit carefully. We'll give it a try maybe. But we only have a hull stability of 100. We have two uh, hull stabilizers. That's it. We could build more, but they won't be done in time, I don't think. Like, we could have made... Yeah, we should have. We should get... You know what? We, sh we still should, anyway. Until we get shield batteries. I should have done this a long time ago. I really should have. High construction priority. Okay. Uh, energy energy blocks kind of oh we don't have any energy blocks so those will never get built darn all right yeah it is a little risky without shields um cry closet says having only one grow area makes you too susceptible to a disaster meteorites fire power failures could kill an entire room at the time now everyone's without food until a new crop arrives i okay here's the thing cry closet i agree with you and that's currently the situation that's going on in here low co2 as well like, the food situation is very bad. It's out of hand, even. We need a CO2 producer in here. Oh, I could fit one. Uh, food, I think? Um, right. What? Why can't I put it there? What's, what's there? Explain yourself. What's there? Uh, surely I should be able to put that there. So it says that there's a footprint. So this thing has a footprint there. This one's footprint is there. That should be green. There should be one green cube right there. Whose footprint is that? Yeah, whose footprint is that? <laughs> okay, that's weird. There should not be... A problem placing that there at all. What if I do this here? Oops. Um, okay, so the reason cry closet that I was ah oh, micro me. You know what? Let's get out of here. We're we're not fighting pirates and uh, patching holes in the ship at the same time. Oh, is King taking off? Oh, bye, King. Speedy Walker's here. Welcome. Haven't seen you in a while, Speedy Walker. The light on the left wall is blocking it. The light on the left wall. There, This light? No, look, the light's here. So that footprint is there. There should be nothing here. I'm going to dismantle this wall and see what's going on. Two hull breaches already. Four hours until the pirates are here. We didn't get all the... Co okay, return home, please. We got to get out of here. <laughs> this is bad. We got hull breaches. Yeah, the meteor shower basically gave us our answer. I am not patching holes and low on oxygen while the pirates come to get me. I'm going to go over here. We're going to take a look at what's up here. Maybe the pirates come back. You have a light on each side of the wall. Again, yeah, I know. Right here, this wall, but not here. See what I mean? This little square right there has nothing in it, as far as I can tell. This light has a footprint right below it on this square. So what's the hex evens going on right here? All right, are we good to go? Let's get out of here. Oh, wait, wait. Brooke, where, Brooke, where are you? Where's Brooke? Uh, Jay, turn that off. Pause. Brooke. Okay, Brooke's on board. Let's get out of here. 
Oh, that was bad. All right, our ship is full of holes. The pirates are coming in, and they're off. Okay, good. Let's get this ice. Let's patch our holes and figure out what to do. Dismantle the wall above the bed and rebuild it. You should be able to place a CO2 producer. Okay. Somebody check and see if hell has frozen. Yeah, something's going on, and it could be related to hell. All right, let's do some mining and some trading, folks, and then we'll go take a look at that derelict vessel. Sorry, I was going to give you some action, but uh, this ship can barely handle uh, small rocks. I don't even know where this air is going. Where are the breaches? Is there a wall breach or something somewhere? Okay, it's going through the vents up and over here. There it is. There's the breach. All right. There, I stopped the... What do we have here? Destructive environment. Okay, we did it. We've, we've stopped the breach. Our O2... Oh, you know what happened in this area, too? Is we vented all the CO2 out as well, probably. And we're not replacing the the uh, CO2 as quickly as replacing, uh, the, replacing the oxygen. Oh, Timothor God of Ponder is here. And Tazenman. I have not seen that. Uh, that person, but you did... I, I haven't said hi to you is what I'm saying, but you did provide that piece of advice. Again, this little hole should should be green. Don't know what's going on there. <laughs> what's there? There, I swear there isn't a light. We could dismantle it. We'll dismantle this light anyway. Is there a window there? No, that's not... I wouldn't be doing a thing. There isn't anything there. <laughs> Check the door. The door's right here. I'll open that vent to get some CO2 in there, though. So maybe you actually just helped save these plants. It's pretty low CO2, though. Uh, okay, what we were talking about a long time ago, though, was um, was was uh, a cry closet's point of having different uh, food production in different spots. And while I do agree with you, uh, in terms of having the space haven for it, it's not ideal. So, so if like basically, I'm treating these meals in a in like you would in in RimWorld as like premium meals, as like like lush luxurious meals or whatever they're called, right? So these ones you should be eating every other meal in, in a perfect world, so that you don't have your fatty acids deficiency, and then you also back it up with some algae. So if we lose all the food, that's not a big deal because then we will just simply um, uh, we'll just simply like start growing again. Emma says, "Is it the window that's causing the problem? The door footprint is probably blocking it. Even though, but I we we're all in agreement, right? That it shouldn't be. Let's dismantle it as well. It shouldn't be. I'm not crazy." I think, you know what I think it is? It could be this light. And we should not dismantle too many things because we want to figure out what it is. So we got to do it a step at a time until we figure out the thing to dismantle. I think this light being on the corner is throwing off stuff around it or something, potentially. Uh, but yeah, we're going to remove the door next and see if that's it. Or this double wall light situation could be the thing. Again, this area is going to change, though. We're going to redesign this whole space in a second. And I guess widen that hallway. I see what's going on here. No, no, no. I, I like the size of that. So this could actually be the barracks. This could be our, our shooty boys barracks. Because this could be another single room. At which point we then have rooms for everybody. And then that leaves all this empty space here for something. Oh, we're going to make things comfortable as all heck. Paused. No, dismantle. All right. The shields console is coming along. This, I moved into a stupid spot, though, didn't I? Let's get it here. Dismantle that. Bring this forward a bit here. To there. There, our two little command wings. Oh, we, we were doing a double door. Okay, okay, okay. Eh, get out of here. Double door. That's fun. Yeah, okay, we can get a wall here. Close that off. There we are. Whew. Is it a piece of wall with vent? 
Could be a good question here. Let's go take a look. I don't see a vent. Okay, but now let's see if that corner thing was the problem. So food, get CO2 producer, cannot place it. It must be the door then. Which again, it shouldn't be, but hey. Let's dismantle the door and see. All right, this is unlinked again, so I'm gonna link this back up to that guy. Our little command sector is coming along quite nicely. So this is navigation and uh, operations, and over here is gonna be guns and shields. So they're gonna have to talk to each other. It's very like, it's very Millennium Falcon vibes. Raven is researching away in the medical bay. We'll eventually get rid of this one. We don't have to worry about that for the time being. All right, very good. This is starting to look kind of like the thing we want. So weapons are gonna go here. Let's see if that fits still. Perfect. Oh, in fact, we've got extra room on this side. Not as much on this. All right, that's good. So we've got a bathroom here. We've got a bathroom and a gas scrubber over here. This door, let's assign that to somebody. Eh. Let's just get this done. Zoe, come and dismantle that door, please. All right. Was it the door, like you all said? It's not. It, it's got to be the light somehow creating a footprint over here. Okay, let's dismantle that light. I can't believe how much we're dismantling just to find out. Bailey, I know you were had other plans, but you're taking that light apart. Okay. Is it that weirdly placed light? It's still... It's not. What? What is there? All right, we're dismantling all of this crap. Is it this? Is this footprint just like crazy? No, it's not. It's got to... There's something right here. Man, that's crazy. I think the wall has an error. That's why it looks different. Which wall are we talking about? Well, this wall just has that Han Solo-y design. Like, the design switched up on the wall. But maybe that's... Yeah, maybe it's causing errors. I don't know. At any rate, we're going to... Wait, what's happening here? Oh, no! Cancel. Yeah, don't dismantle that. I am so confused. Okay, we gotta dismantle it. We're just we're just learning at this point, and we're gonna miss out on some fruits. Not a big deal. I know she started dismantling that, but I wasn't ready yet, and now I am. I'm ready. Oh, we got two logistics robots. Okay, so we have LR one MG. Uh, I think this will be uh, lawn. <laughs> and here's why. Come on, you're gonna drop that many like super chats. Come on, you get to be a robot. Lawn R seven. Okay. That's the seventh lawn. And then we've got... Uh, oh, wait. I thought I named these guys. So we got lawn, and then let's uh, have um, uh, Stephanie. <laughs> Stephanie. Great. We got our two lo logistics robots. I really thought I had named one of them already, though. So we got Stephanie, and we've got lawn R7. Okay, that grow bed is gone now. CO2 producer. Oh, Ah, uh, we can put a door in front of it. We'll put a door in front of it, and then we're gonna go. CO two producer. There we go, girl. Uh, I don't reload. <laughs> uh, that hurts my brain. I'm exhausted because of that. Honestly, that exhausted me. And, and we've been going for uh, a long time, I think. So I think I'm getting like a little bit YouTube brain. You know what I mean? Okay, are we making more soft scrap? We are not really moving through our soft scrap very fast. I would like to ensure that that gets assigned to somebody that can do industry. Hal, just scrubs, go do a bit of soft scrap, please. I just want to see it being done. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was a bug for sure. 
Constantin, also hi Constantin. Giano says, lol, if that, that hull breach that broke the ship right there, yeah, that could have been a hull breach that's like t thoroughly ruined the ability for that ship to be a ship. I mean for that, yeah, for that tile to be a tile. Okay, uh, let's talk about design in here. So this room is ready to be inhabited. It's got a little window. And I think I want to take a look at my options here. Edit, walls. What about this? Where's those shelves? Like, that's fun. No, you know what? Because this one actually has, like, bookshelves and things. So this is, like, a bit of a Star Citizen vibe, bit Star trek -y. Come on, bookshelf. I'm sure there was a bookshelf in here. Some creeps whistling in the distance. I could have sworn there was, like, a bookshelf prop if you tap the wall enough. Uh... Uh, I guess not. Maybe that was a different one. Maybe it was this one. <laughs> no, you know what? I like the shelves for these people. So I'm going to go with this Star trek -y vibe with the little shelf right there next to the table. Or do we want... Oh, that was nice. Damn. Oh, uh, yeah, look. Look how many shelves that is. That's fun. So we're going to do that. And then for floors, we got to have like a darker floor, I think. There. Is that the carpet, though? Is that like... Does that look nice? Oh, not that. Or that. A lot of these are... Oh, that's nice. I like the, like, stripey carpet. Oh, yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Okay, I gotta remember that that's one of my favorite floors. So in here, let's go green floor. And same thing. Same wall, I think. There we go. That looks nice. Yeah, that looks nice. Those rooms look nice. So then I think in the hallways, we'll go... For now, we'll just go Star Wars. Um, then the blue for the construction area. This could also be blue, maybe. Yeah, that looks kind of fun. So then in here, let's go with, like, the... Goo, duh, 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 duh. Yeah, there we go. That's looking a little better. Blue for the medical area. This area here needs to be Star Wars-y. Oh, yeah, we were putting a door there, weren't we? Okay, let's get that door in here so we can help continue controlling the airflow in this area. And it looks like it's right on the other side of the... Oh, it's like here. Wait, where am I putting it? Oh, I haven't moved it yet. Okay, so we're going to put it there. Same thing. We're moving this one over here. There we go. Jekyll is asking, am I live? Yes, I am live. Uh, Constantine, what did you say? I said hi four times. Oh, yeah, sorry. Well, I, th I think we said hi. Or, I mean, I did. Um, Istvan, I agree with you. There were books there, weren't there? Some of the designs had books on those walls. Oh, well. What are you going to do? Sometimes something, something, that's life. <laughs> Let's get, like, because, I mean, that almost looks like bookshelves or something. Like, these could be cool bedrooms if, where is that panel? Where's that electric panel? Yeah, like, that kind of looks like maybe it's an info panel, but maybe that's, like, a, a food, you know, a replicator or something like that. I don't know. Now we're just playing guess. All right, this area here, let's just change up the floors just for fun. Instead of green, though, what about like a lighter color? There, that looks fun. Uh, although it's not very bright in here, is it? Get some lights on there. I want another light here. I want this area to be very happy and bright. And then we got to figure out where to put... Okay, we got to get rid of this bed. We don't need this bed. We can use those soft blocks. Eventually, I want to put some, like, couches here. Maybe some. Maybe we need more couches in here. We're going to do a redesign in here. We don't need all of this table action. But again, that's all we have for now. All right, let's get a light uh, here. Feeling good? Looking good? I tell you. Oh, look at this. these tiny little hallways. It's kind of nice. I like it. Uh, edit... Style walls. There we go. Now these rooms need to be uh, this thing, of course. Wait, I think you're right, though. I think they took the books away. I could have sworn there were books in there. All right, Brooke, this... Oh, we don't have a bed built for you yet, but that's going to be Brooke's room because she was sitting in there and she liked it. Who gets this room? Who do we think? This should be the captain's quarters, I think. You know what? Zoe seems to have been the uh, MVP uh, so far. So let's, this is going to be Zoe's bed. There we are. It's our comfort rating in here. It's not that comfortable, to be honest. 
What is the max comfort? I think it's like 40 or something. You can get to like 40. I'd love to get that high, but this is, uh, yeah, we're going to need those, uh, the arcades and stuff like that. Love the chair and no desk, says Speedy Walker. It's just so they can, like, put on their shoes in the morning or something. <laughs> well, also, there's no desks. I can't wait till there's desks, because there are on the other ships, like the Angel's Wing, which we need to go explore. Team 1, are you ready? Your stamina looks fine. Let's go explore. The Angel's Wings. All right, now, if we had energy blocks, we do have two energy blocks. Where do we get those from? Are we making energy blocks? Why did I suddenly spawn two new energy blocks? I must have taken something apart that gave me energy blocks. So to that end, I wouldn't mind building another hull stabilizer right now. That'll give us 150 hull points, I believe. And that will be good against the... Uh... Yeah, let's dock. That'll be good against the pirates. That'll give me a few extra hits that I can take. ASC Speedy Walker is saying, sit on the bed to put your shoes on. But here's the thing. They don't do that. <laughs> the bed is only just a rest device. <laughs> but yes, they should. My dime's taken off. Got to run. Have Everybody have a good afternoon. Okay, yes, absolutely. Have a good afternoon. Ah, oh, caught Annie. Where is... What's Annie up to? We got to check in on that space haven run. I haven't done that in a while. A couple of games going on on the chat. Um, I can announce to you, uh, fine friends... Uh, that uh, Jules and I have been working on a playthrough of If It, uh, or not If It, uh, It Takes Two. So that's coming up. Todd, it's been way too long since I caught a live stream. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the live streams, Todd. It's also been way too long since I've live streamed. So it's only fair. Okay, there are haulers on here, I can tell. All right. We're coming forward here. There's a bug. There's a bug boy. Okay, we have a, we have announced our presence to one of the haulers. I can see it coming towards us. All right, so let's keep exploring and get into a good spot to deal with the hauler. Because, like, ideally, the best thing to do is get it into a place, where, like, behind a closed door or something. Let's pop this open here. <laughs> That holler's like, hey, what's going on near my eggs? No, my babies! That's what I'm talking about. Get rid of them babies. Seems you can craft energy blocks through the S energy assembler. Wait, is that true? But, I mean, they didn't because I didn't assign that. Energy refinery through the assembly assembler. Whoops. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. All right, going forward here. Got rid of the eggs. Couple more to do here. We've got to get rid of this hauler egg. Meanwhile, the hauler is probably pretty upset with us. Yeah, he's coming to get us. Speedy Walker says, the best way to deal with a hauler is with an RPG. I do agree with you. We don't have any RPGs equipped. Oh, no. So let's try a move. <laughs> ah, I tried to die. I'm trying to learn how to dodge these things. But this team is actually not bad. This team has pretty good accuracy ratings. Okay, at some point, this hauler is going to come get us. So let's move into a better position here. Brooke, I want you to move forward. Spot him. There he is. Move. Pop the door. Close the door. <laughs> I'm trying to just get him to do a weird thing. <laughs> okay, I don't know if this is going to work. Pop the door. No, it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I, people keep saying that there's a way to dodge, but I still have not seen it. Oh, a flamethrower would be sweet. All right, the androids are coming in next. We're going to trade with them. A flamethrower would be awesome in this game. But yeah, like an RPG or a flamethrower, those could be good, but then you have to be careful with them because they can destroy parts of the ship or resources. I really like that idea. So you have, there's a bit of... Str oh, f f nothing. So there's a bit of strategy there. Let's get that tech and energy scrap. Let's get the infra uh, soft scrap. Let's do that. Eh, let's get the whole scrap too. Why not? 
Yeah, we don't have a lot of hull scrap. So let's do that and let's build some more hull. So we do have enough... Yeah, we're going to have enough to build another hull stabilizer, so that's pretty great. Uh, you didn't pick up the log. I forgot the log. Okay. Or maybe it's 30 credits. All right, we'll get somebody. When, when they come over for another uh, salvage visit, we'll do that. I know we ha almost have our salvage robots finished research, but I've gone over to the shields for a second. Where's my salvage uh, salvage robot? Yeah, see, it's like more than halfway done being researched. So then we'll get a salvage bot going on, which I everyone swears by. Everyone in the chat has been like, oh my, oh am God, have you heard about salvage bots? They're the greatest thing that ever existed. And I'm all like, I guess. All right, what say you we, this is at a 17 now and that's at zero. Let's dismantle this one. Okay, we have our new rooms, possible grow chamber here. Paragon. We're talking about different weapons. I love this. A flame floor would be, would be, yeah. I, I do agree with Cry Closet. It could be quite dangerous. A rail gun is overkill. We killed the hauler. Also the pirate ship, three planets over. Yeah, because I guess like it would just keep going, wouldn't it? Todd Lang says, I feel like the game needs more tiers of devices so you can build and run small ships rather than constantly building mobile cities. You know, that's a good point. I think it would be nice to be able to like, like, even if you put it, like, really advanced, like, the research could be down here or something. Some sort of a, a multi-purpose device where you can kind of repurpose it a several times or something like that. Like, so you can make sm smaller uh, ships. Um, and you can certainly... Love seeing them just humbering along. You can certainly make smaller ships and then just trade to get by. How are we doing for stuff? 80 ice left. We are loaded with ice. Uh, uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Energy rod. Uh oh. Uh, we're out of energy rods. Was that. When was that? What? I think it's because they keep. Okay, hang on. They keep working on hyperfuel. So we need to, like, do this so that they do energy em. Then if. Produce if less than 20 hyperfuel is second. Maybe is that a thing? We're about to run out of power on this ship. Okay, I you shouldn't have to often look to see if they're doing their jobs. Industry, a sign. Okay, Brooke is just asleep on the floor. Timon is busy. I need like a good three industry person. Okay, Hal, you're not sleeping. Sorry, you got to do a run of some energy rods here. What? That's it? That's it? You didn't do anything. He just touched it. He literally just touched the thing. Bailey, can you do industry? Oh, wait. Somebody... No, don't do ice! Okay. Bailey, a two is enough. We need to get some freaking energy rods in here. What, what happened? Okay. All right. We made and used one energy rod. Turn off industry that doesn't give you energy. Okay, fine. I'm going to turn this there. I'll turn the logistics level down on this so that people are focused on doing this one. All right. Shields console has been researched. Shield generator research. Okay. Now, what do we need for the shield generator? It takes energy uh, cells, which are hard to come by right now, but we do have 24, so that's okay. Uh, we don't need this right away, but like our shields console, we're missing one soft block. That's okay. There we go. We'll get that built. Recycler will give you energy rods. Uh, I think you're right. Uh, no, it gives you energy. -um. But yes, like we should be doing that too. Continuous. I'm just trying to keep up with my soft scrap. Okay, there we go. Brooke is doing some work. Hal is still working on this. Customs logistics priority. That shouldn't be that high, but anyway, whatever. We'll work on that. Okay. Okay, that's going a lot better. Transfer. Okay, now how am I doing? I got 7,000 doubloons. Let's uh, trade and I guess get some energy rods, which is a little annoying. I shouldn't have to need... Oh, they have only one. Okay. Let's get a little water. What kinds of stuff do we need? Maybe one of these. <laughs> and any energy rods? We have a decent amount of medicine. I'll take I'll take this though, just to, to shore up our supplies. 
So it's a 1,200 uh, Degloon uh, deficit so far. Let's get some Energium. 1,800 Degloons. Let's get a... Yeah, let's get a couple tech blocks. There we go. Okay, that's a lot. All right, let's 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 purchase our way back into the green here. Let's sell them a AR, probably. Uh, I almost sold them their medicine back to them. 1,200? I can take a 1,200 loss. We'll give them a little more of this. How much... I think we're fine. I think we can... Yeah, we can manage to sell that. And maybe some carbon. Uh, maybe some explosive ammunitions. I think those are expensive to make. We got to look at how expensive those are to make. Uh, because maybe those are our weapons. Yeah, let's do that. A 600 Degloon loss. Name a robot. ADA. Ada. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to play with Fire Bear again and name robots anything spicy, anything that's gonna, you know, cause a narrative issue. Now you're saying turn this off, but what we could do is just set this to uh, if less than like uh, 40. All right, so then we're pretty close to not needing logistics to keep running on that. We do have some energy rods slowly being made. Yeah, okay. It looks like I think maybe this was causing the logistics problem. Love having those robots around. Uh, that's great. All right, we've created a 40th water. Our food production is back underway, but, you know, not entirely. Okay, we go back to the question of Cry Closet saying we should split up our food production. We could. I don't know if I want to. <laughs> End of discussion. What does it look like if I put... So we can't get two of those, but we could do... Excuse me, hiccups again. So maybe this way. And you go this way. We don't need a lot of grow rooms. That's the that's the, that's the the enjoyable thing. We don't need a lot of, of beds. Reshton says, do you know where the name Hal comes from if the story is true? Oh, uh, Megan is thinking I should name them after the gods of the cows and sheep. So it's kind of like, yeah, because again, everything I play is technically part of the same universe, uh, narratively speaking. So like out there, Captain Annie is flying around, but also on some planet we have foundation going on. And they, ha you know, so maybe these people know of the uh, farm planet. Um, okay, somebody dismantle this thing. Let's just get this done. Why do I have to pick? Okay, fine. I'm picking Hal. All right. All you're doing is deconstructing that. There we go. Okay. Uh, it's from IBM. Hal is from IBM. Medium grow beds. The two size has the best footprint, says Emma. Oh, well, I guess we did that trade, so that's good. Did we get even one energy block? We have an energy deficit going on. I'm starting to get worried about that. We're like burning through energy rods here. Like, we can't keep up with the logistics of the energy rod creation we need to do. All right, so this grow bed. Yeah, has this one has the best footprint. This one is the most efficient in terms of using up uh, infra blocks. We don't need to worry about that, though. So we could very well do something like, like what, what are we doing here? What are we thinking, folks? First of all, we need to get rid of this door and make it a, a single door. The meeting that require extra logistics. That's true. That is true, because now you have to interact with this to get to operate one of the two of them. Whereas you... Although, do you have to... Does it create a work job? A work job, you heard me, for each thing? So it's like you just have to go to this five times as opposed to going to this two times. Do you know what I mean? Standby power, point zero one, point zero one. Here's the thing I'm noticing. Generates comfort. That's nice. They all use the exact same amount of power. So the more of these I build, technically we're using a bit more power. So I think I'm going to go with this and a grow bed in the corner like this. Something like that. And that's going to give me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spots. Uh, hit P here. Let's take a look. Wait, total consume. Are we not making any meat? Oh, yeah, we can't make meat yet. Right, 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 right. We don't have meat. Okay, so nuts. Total produced four. Total consumed six. 
So we need one more spot uh, for those. Fruits, three and third. Why are we why are we consuming 13 fruits? We don't have a chemical refinery. Don't consume 10.8, produced eight. Okay, we're close. We're close to self-sufficient here. Uh, so fruits, oh, I see what's going on here. Fruits, we also have only have one thing of fruits. So I would say we need three veggies, probably a whole thing of proteins, don't we? Crap. There's a lot of... Is, is that something... You know, does that concern anybody? The fact that we have... I guess we only need one or two more. So we could do four. And then fruits. So this could be... So this one could be... Nuts, nuts, meat, meat, fruit. Okay? Then we need two fruits. We almost need another one of these. Alright, let's get rid of this air vent so we have a bit more room here and let's get rid of this wall light okay. Uh, okay this grow room is actually going to be quite big I think I was hoping to move the prison and give them their own space we still could do that here let's get rid of that door where do we think we'd want to put the prison I don't want to take up too much room and it's also going to be the prison and uh, the what's it area it's going to be our prison and our refugee area. Fruit is the least effective way to get nutrients in space haven, says Speedy Walker. Yeah, but don't you need it for uh, proper, like, fiber or something like that? Or vitamins? I'm talking about... Not in real life. In real life, I know why we need fruits. Don't get me wrong. I'm talking about in the game. And apparently you don't need lights in the plant room, says Dema. Yeah, we could try that. We could try not having lights in here. But again, I like having lights. I like having lights everywhere. Okay, so we're going to get this thing built. All right. Now, again, I somewhat agree with 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 Cry Closet that you're, you're going to want to split up your food production. So we could maintain some food production here. Uh, or we could simply close the vent and have a um, CO2 producer in here. Which I think is what I want to do. Alright, so let's get a grow bed in here. Like so. And then maybe... Is it another one of these? Yeah, but we're going to run out of... Yeah, this... We're not using this space very effectively, are we? Okay, let's dismantle this. We're actually going to move all this over. Move that over there. We're going to move this sucker over here. The, the footprint of this grow bed is also a little bit annoying. So let's do something like... Uh, hang on. Let me think about this. I think we got an idea here. We've got an idea forming. We're going to move this forward. Hear me out. Okay. We're going to move this guy over. All right. Then we grab this grow bed here. And then we put another single grow bed here, eventually. Once this door is gone, then we put a CO2 producer right here. Pow, pow, pow. And now, uh, what's next? We need to we need to get a chemical refinery researched and up because we are out of fertilizer. So we need fertilizer. Uh, Vincent D says, I think you can go to the kitchen settings and modify products used in a meal and, and uh, nutrition intake. Very true. Okay. Well, I mean, we can do that. Um, I think, uh, I think this design could work. I think I just want to figure out, we just want to get them to do some of these logistics here. So we got this grow bed built. Uh, how close are we to an energy refinery, actually? Uh, I mean, uh, sorry, a chemical refinery. Water collector would be good. Power capacity, no. Arcade, artificial meat. They don't even have artificial meat yet. Power capacity, no. We have a lot of research to do, my friends. Uh, before we have, we're not even getting to weapons yet. Advanced, water collector, assembler. All right, where is this thing? Why can't I see it? Chemical refinery. Oh, we've researched it already. Good, 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 good. So we need to build that. 
because we are out of stuff. So for now, we can just slap it here in the uh, industry room. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, this isn't the most like efficient design of space, but we could do this here and we could put like uh, some more uh, storage here. <laughs> there, useful. All right, get that built. Three tech blocks. Uh-oh. Okay, we're gonna have to do some trading with somebody. All right, are we done here? Yeah, we're done. Spin up the engines. Let's go find some trade. I think your kitchen's food profile is significant, especially in the early game where you don't have meat yet. I've found that the early game diet has a lot of nuts and uh, seeds to make up for protein. Yeah, of course. I, I agree with you there. All right, so let's get this wall built here. Now, what I've done is basically like put it over here, packed, compacted it, to compacted it, so that we can have a lot of... Okay, wait. Why is that not letting me build... Uh, blah, you're in the way. Good lord. It is non-stop. Okay, so we'll get this moved. We do a small grow bed here. That's over there. CO2 producer right in the corner. Perfect. Okay. Early game, you can live off algae and just eat the food that you take from pirates. It's a very cheap this way. Yeah, and I think I should maybe do that. All right. Um... Is this enough grow bed space? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that gives me ten spots. Here's the thing. We could... Okay, let's just get this up and running. And then de deconstruct all of this. Let it cook for a bit and see if it's doing the job. I also want to sneak in a couple of lights. I know. I don't have lights, blah, blah, blah. But, like, here's the thing. I just kind of like having lights in there. All right, then we'll see if we need to pack it a little bit more. I don't want to create more food than I need. I want to create almost just a little under the food that I need. Because, again, uh, make energy rods, please. <laughs> Insufficient resource, unattended tasks. Const a construction job is missing. Okay. Whew, a lot to work on here. All right. Let's take to the stars. We have our late game ship, and we just do not have enough crew for it, really, to be honest. This nebula will kill off our shields. That's fine. In fact, if the pirates give chase, maybe we should do that. Although we don't have any weapons, so it doesn't matter. Taking people's shields down doesn't matter. I kind of thought we would need to take shields down, and like maybe eventually we'll need to do this so that we can board a ship, but not right now. All right, let's get this energy, and then let's get out of here. So somehow we have enough tech blocks, according to this. Are we just spawning tech blocks? I think it just assigned the tech blocks. That's why it looked like it was we were out. But now we're definitely out. Okay, I'm taking away the hyperfuel task. Just focus on energy. I don't know why this is so hard. Produce if less than 50. Well, we're way less than 50. Stop making hyperfuel. We have 10 hyperfuel. That's enough. Team Fiasco ran out of puns and is going to bed. Fiasco, you rock. Glad to have you around. Danny Webby, we're getting a laugh. See this glass of water? His name was Alan. Oh, no, we're talking about turning humans into water, aren't we? <laughs> All right, fertilizer. Oh, we can make explosive ammunition here. You know what? That is actually cheaper than making energy cells for the energy weapons. Because we've got a lot of those. Produces one explosive ammunition. Could be good. All right, we need to make some chemicals. And then we need to make some fertilizers. There we go. The Speedy Walker says, no turning humans into water. I try, I mean, to be honest, I try not to. All right, so what do we need? We needed grow, we needed protein, and then fruit. In here, we needed, let's go fruit, fruit, then vegetables, vegetables, vegetables. I think that's going to be good. We just have to re the sort of shape of things a little bit here. All right, that's good. Okay, so let's... What are we at? 35%. We don't want to, like, spoil this growth, I guess. All right, stop that. Yeah, okay. Let's dismantle this one. Okay, there we go. So we'll let these two finish growing. Dismantle that. We'll get all the resources back for that. Infra blocks and tech blocks or whatever. Now we have another potential room here. We could actually keep this... 
put a door here and make this the like we could kind of resize this a little bit and this could be our prison right here as opposed to putting the prison in all this space all this space I'm not sure what to do with it yet I'm sure you guys are gonna tell me what to do with it soon but maybe we just didn't need all of this construction should we actually sh shrink the ship is that a thing is that a thing people do shrink ships let's put our storage in here this is the final shape for this storage and then we'll get this thing emptied and hopefully the uh, logistics bots will just boom 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 empty it into there all right in the meantime okay yeah we're out of fertilizer so that's no good we'll get some chemicals made here okay good okay R overview rules select all empty Whew. Emma says question if you have plants mid growth is there a way to not grow more as soon as it's finished if you wish to change plant type I don't know I think uh, I haven't noticed one all I do is just try to keep an eye on it and then as soon as it's at like one or two percent or like as soon as it gets harvested I try to like stop it so I don't know if there's a way to set up a command where you like shift it over okay this is working put a little bathroom here then we'll get rid of this bathroom or it will at least open up its control Right now, it's looking a little poorly. This area is a little poorly designed. With that extra double wall here. Not sure what that's all about. It's kind of wasteful. Not sure how to fix that either. Unless we change the shape of this, similar to over here. And I do like the hallway kind of going around a little corner like that. That looks cool. No, I kind of like this bend. That's so hard. Yeah, we definitely need a, a button that says don't replant. A don't replant button would be amazing. But like he said in an interview uh, with uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Axel, uh, King Axel, so to speak, uh, you know, it's one of those things of like, how much work will it take? I don't know if that would take that much work. It might actually take a lot of work to like program it to pay attention to a work order or something. Uh, and how much benefit will it give the players? So they have to, and I assume it's, you know, like profit margin, right? You have to be careful because every time, every hour you spend you know, having a developer do something is an hour you have to pay them, so it has to be worth it. I don't need to tell you guys how to run. Oh, no, they replanted it. Crap, 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 crap. Okay, we're going to stop and dismantle that. Hopefully we'll get... Oh, we're getting biomatter, but we're not getting the fertilizer back. 72% on the bed and fruits here. We are straight up out of fertilizer. Not ideal. 74 on the fruits. Uh, it'll definitely kill your frames. Also, RimWorld has something similar, but it can tank the frame rate. Androids are coming in. Should we stick around and trade with them? I don't know. Kind of want to move on. Like, maybe they'll have fertilizer, maybe not. Maybe we just need to do it ourselves. Let's move on, folks. We've talked to them before. They're fine. I think they did actually have fertilizer, to be honest. <laughs> That's okay. We're about to solve that problem. They're going to eat algae for a bit. We're making fertilizer right now. That's going to get our grow beds up and running. Hal has actually got us out of our energy rod deficiency, and I think it was because I had this custom logistics set way too high. I'll actually I'll bump it to a 2, but as long as the energy thing is staying high and we don't have freaking hyperfuel uh, work orders sticking around. I think hyperfuel work orders we should just do uh, a la carte. That's what we're going to do. All right, we jump to the stars, and we take off into the nebula. Down into this totally empty space. Empty space here. The pirates are anywhere. The pirates are somewhere. Let's go get this uh, base metals. We've tried to evade the pirates. We wait. They leave. Where are we? And so we drop in, I guess. Okay, that was weird. I think those pirates are going to come back and get us. And this time, we're going to be ready-ish. Ooh, a couple of derelict vessels. A very nice little area. All right. Let's get our, our some last adventure before I go and eat lunch and prepare for my interview. All right, Team 1, let's draft you right away. And Jamie, upon seeing the assignment in his logbook, is like, all right, let's get going. Oh, you know what? I didn't take the logbook uh, from that vessel, from the derelict vessel. I forgot. Whoops. All right, Jamie boards on. He looks at the others and he says, another day, another dollar, am I right? And then Zoe is like, wait, you guys are getting paid? And then he's like, it's just an expression. None of us are getting paid. 
This is a very, like, I don't know, like a very communal ship. All this money is pooled together to buy resources we need, and I think that's just the way it's got to be in space. I'm sure there's some, like the Baron, right? He was out for himself, and his, his path to richness, his path to his space station is probably paved with uh, the bodies of his crew that he mistreated. We float right into the center, and we just, it's just an absolute free for all. Okay, there, I'm seeing some like pretty poor accuracy, so that's, I don't think that's coming from, from Jamie. Although, what is this accuracy in a spacesuit? 44%. That means, hang on, let's take a look at this. Oh, 91 from Jamie. Oh, that's Brooke, right? Brooke, accuracy 54, 91, 44, and 91. Okay, so. Time and Sam should probably be phased out of the shooty team eventually. I just don't know like how much bigger we're gonna let our crew get. We want to keep it small, you know. <laughs> I like that comment from Istvan. Hey, the oxygen is payment enough. If you don't like it, you can go outside. Exactly. Scrubs is a very friendly captain. He's very positive. He's not as battle hardened as Annie. But if you if you cross his crew, he will space you. No, make no doubts about it. He will space you. Okay, wait. Let's get the let's get the thing. There, we got a new data lock. <laughs> and we've almost explored uh, this ship. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. This was the Typhon or something. The Typhon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, Brooke took a couple of bites there. All right. Undraft. Uh, okay, how did we do? What did we get? Hey, not bad. That's not a terrible haul. I'll take that. Should they just keep going? How are they doing health-wise? Oxygen-wise is okay. Health is okay, and stamina is maintained. So let's... Uh, oh, no! <laughs> Except... No, can you please dock? Just, just dock. Okay, fine. Dock over there. Okay, don't be weird. Let's just go check out the other ship. Beauty, uh, wherever it is. Here we go. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Let's just go through the airlock. We haven't done that in a while. We haven't done an air, air, air airlock board. Ooh, that's hard to say. Yeah, the shuttle AI is a little weird, but hey, it's a thing. Uh, so somebody said, cheers, Danny. There's no don't replant button, but you can set individual grow beds to plant continuously, or if less than. Oh, I don't think I noticed that. Wait, how? Fruits, harvest, one and one, great. I don't see, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't see that. And they haven't been planted yet anyway. Uh, okay, 88% on those fruits, then we'll dismantle it. I don't see an if-then uh, uh, growth thing. You need to click the bed. I did click the bed. <laughs> like the individual bed or something? Is that even possible to do? You mean like this in here? Okay, what's at a zero right now? Let's, t let's test this. So that's a zero. I don't see it. I just see plant. I think you click on the column on the right. Stop. Somebody's okay out there. Somebody is freaking out because I'm not doing it right. Click on the fruit icon on the left in the planter window. Yep. You plant it and it will show after. It's not. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. All right. You guys win. Growth rate 110%. Hello. Oh. Skill penalty. Okay, we need to turn. We need to make sure people aren't allowed to touch the food that are not skilled. Botany. Uh, yes and yes. No, don't touch it. Fine. Don't touch it. There. Wow, that took a while for me to learn, but we got there. Do you want me to read the... Should we read the Call Me Crazy entry? 
No, we'll read it if we come across the ship. How about that? Okay, where's team one? They're just like waiting. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry, I was growing food. We board the vessel. There's a lot of spiders on this one. Be careful. Remember, there's only so many of you. This is not a giant city ship, okay? We don't have expendables on this crew. None of you are expendable. Jamie takes a couple. Okay, there's a lot of them. Let's just keep backing up and assume our fight position. Okay, we're good. Move forward. Oh, oh, okay. I let that spider just bite me for a little bit. I kind of think there's going to be a lot of resources on this vessel, maybe. Because what was this over here? One energy rod, Hyperium, three infra blocks, tech blocks. Oh, my goodness. See, okay, Axel, if you can hear me, let us... You know what I mean? Let us have that desk. Look, there's a little router on there. There's like a business card and a tiny computer. Can I please build that desk? I just want to make offices. I just want a floating office vessel. All right, get whatever that is. Look at the size of these. Oh, dear. Go get that. Credits. Pick it up. Some more credits. Pick it up again. Oh, this thing is just cashing out for us. And a data log. I love it. Okay. Keep exploring. Is it a router or a pen holder? Oh, I guess it's probably a pen holder. But look, it's on. it looks like it's on its side. And they're sticking out the side of it. That's just why I thought it was a router. All right, beautiful. The Thunder Horse has been explored. And let's take a look. I think this could be a bit of a payday. I mean, it's all right. <laughs> no, that's pretty good. Like, three tech blocks. Some medicine, energy rods. Yeah. No, that's a good, that's a good haul. And we'll do some salvage here. Get that tech and energy. Over here, we'll do uh, energy. Okay. Whew. We've undrafted everybody. We're back to work. Woo. Lockers for gun storage would be amazing. I would love to have an armory, and I would love to for that to confer a bonus of some kind. Uh, okay, we don't need that many chemicals. We have one chemical left for some fertilizer. So, yeah, we need to make some chemicals. Our grow beds are almost started up and working. That's okay. We're just getting... It, it's growing pains. They have algae. They'll be fine. It's just a little growing pains right now. Now, this space here... Oh, wait. Are you done? Whoops. Whoops. Grow. Okay. So, it just needs to be... Uh, just needs to be dealt with. Now, if you're new to the channel, something that I know about, this is, uh, so I'm an expert uh, in Space Haven, and I'll just let you know. If you take a look here, when you click on the actual item in your grow area here, right? Yeah. You're going to look down here. You're going to see produce continuous, or you can assign an if less than rule, uh, which is absolutely amazing, and it can really help you uh, um, uh, time uh, your food production. And so that's something you're going to want to do. Uh, that's something that I've known about for a long time uh, as an expert in the game. Uh, so, yeah, I feel, you know, that I've helped you today uh, understand a little bit more about the game that I call home, Space Haven. You're welcome. From one expert to all my students, you're all welcome. God, I'm good at this game. Oh, man, I hate to be so conceited, but have you ever seen somebody that knows more about this game than me? I kind of want that window there still. Okay, we're going to create this little bathroom here. I don't know what to do with this room. I just don't want... Here's what it is. I don't want the prisoners to uh, leave their friggin' prison anymore. I'm done. I'm done with that. I'm over it. Hey, uh, Danny, you are welcome anytime. I will enlighten you anytime about little things like that. For instance, did you know? Let's say you're trying to rotate something. Just hit the E key. Wow, look at that. You can rotate it. Boom. See, this is all stuff I know and I'm willing to share. Hi, I am new to the channel. Is this Bad Company 3? Lon, you, we all know. First of all, you got the member icon. And thanks for joining and being a member, you wonderful person. All right. We know you're not new to the channel. Get out of here. Maybe we don't dismantle this. Maybe it's a... Let's see here. Life support facility. It's a turlet. That they can see into with this window. That's gross. 
Okay, how do we want to redesign this space? This is the real question. You know what I'd like to do is have... Yeah, one door access. If you don't want prisoners to leave, why not make it so that you need to do a spacewalk to reach the prison? Yes. They can still... They would still put on spacesuits is the thing. Emma says she's never built a wall vent in her games. Well, hey, that's why you're watching me, the expert in Space Haven. They could still put on the spacesuit to leave the spacesuit door. But it does give an idea. Like, kind of what I want to do is make an airlock, to be honest with you. Okay, let's dismantle this window. Let's dismantle this. Here, here's what it is. Here's what we're going to do. I got a plan. I got a plan. It's wasteful, but it's going to look cool. And in the end, isn't that what's important? So we're going to dismantle all this stuff, but I think people are just absolutely so busy right now. We've got some food growing. Not a lot, but some. We need this energy refinery to be working harder here. Chemicals, only one chemical. Okay, is somebody assigned this job? No. What's going on? Is everybody asleep or something? Oh, they're all busy. I see. Yeah. You know what? We, this is why we need a salvage robot, for sure. I love airlocks in my prison. I just put it behind a locked door, and if they start acting up, a little decompression would set them straight. <laughs> That's clever. Uh, why build vents as the doors have vents built in? Yes, absolutely. It just depends on the shape of your, of your ship, you, where you might want vents. So I'm putting a vent in here, and we should probably put a vent in here. Uh, because eventually the only venting in was going to be through this area here to get into the space. Vents can push out CO2 from rooms faster. Good for small sleeping rooms. Yes. Okay. Very good. Build a door beyond the prison door, then replace that door with a wall. Brian, you're thinking like, that's like Sims 3, Sims 2 gameplay you're talking about. I love it. Yeah, we're going to lock this door in a second. Okay. Come on. People do some logistics. Everybody's busy. Everybody's busy or sleeping. So, yeah, what we need is salvage robots so that we can uh, have less of us needing to go over to these ships. That seems to be the main problem right now. Like, these guys are doing logistics, and God bless their little hearts. But we need, yeah, we need industry being done. We need planting being done. All that kind of stuff. But you know what we do need to really be done with is... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, that's fine. I got put out. What we really need to be done with is um, this stream so that I can go eat lunch. <laughs> we made a little bit of progress today, I would say. Not a lot of drama. Where are those freaking pirates? Do they want to come fight? There's nothing for them over there. They better come to get us. Because I want to stock this prison up with fresh, fresh bodies. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to it today, though. All right, so then this wall continues along here. Up there, I guess. Oh, that's such a big bathroom, though. That's so silly. We don't need that much bathroom space. But I do need... Because if we're going to build a... Hull stabilizer. Yeah, so I can't... Reshape this room at all. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, let's think. Let's think here. So that means we could just dismantle that. And then have a smaller area there. Let's dismantle this wall. Or no, let's keep that light there. Dismantle. I mean, remantle. Facility. Give them a turlet. Right there. And you know what? Let's... We should give them like a gas scrubber or something. I mean, there's a gas scrubber right here. But we could actually just move that. Let's move it over here. Is it comfortable? No, it's not comfortable. Of course it's not comfortable, but they don't get comfort. There. Then we dismantle this and that. And we're going to put a door right there. There we go. A tiny little airlock. Yes. Now we should have a window, though, I, uh, realistically. We should have a window there so we can look in and see what they're getting up to, those little, those little scenes. But we can watch them pooping, so that's good. That's always fun. Uh, do we need... How much power coverage do we have here? We don't need... Okay, let's move this guy over. To there. Alright. 
Istvan says, uh, now that's just cruel. Now you have no door to the prison, methane scrubber, but properly placed. Yeah, exactly. It's a scrubber for their for their internal gases. All right, we're going to get a door right here. There we are. Okay, and then this table. Oh, it's not going to be able to go there because of that wall node we're putting there. What if we... Yeah, get rid of that. Hang on. Hang on, the logistics bot. Uh, where would we put this? Yeah, let's put it in the middle of the room. So let's put this... Let's move this over to there. Put this here. Get another chair. The only problem with this idea is that it takes up a lot of wall space for, like, you know, some lighting. And then what I'd like to do is have an arcade or something fun for them to do. Oh, and I was going to put a window here. That was the whole point of this, all this moving stuff. Okay, let's, yeah, let's do that. Then let's dismantle the wall, give them a window so we can at least look into these fools and check on them. Got to make sure those prisoners aren't digging those uh, classic toilet tunnels. Wait, wrong game. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Shield generator, baby. I, yeah, let's keep researching with salvage robots. That absolutely, that makes me miss uh, prison architect so bad. Shield generator. Up. Now, do we want uh, 150 hull and one shield generator, or do we want two shield generator, two hull generators? Got another call me crazy. Okay, we'll check out that later. Whoops, whoops. Okie dokie. Digging your way to freedom in space reminds me of the MST3K movie. What was that? What movie is that? Reach Hall, uh, Reach Hall All Die. Even it had it underlined. What, what, what movie are you talking about? I want to watch that. That sounds cool. Okay, dismantle all this, please. I just got a big window in here. Just got a big old winder. So we can look at these fools. Hurry up. Dismantle this. Somebody dismantle this right now. Nope. Hal, come back. Dismantle that. Yeah, okay. All right, let's get this window in here. There we go. That's looking good. So they've got a little space there. There's a little bit of light coming in from there. Oh, ho, ho, folks. We've got the pirates coming in. Now, I think... Yeah, because of the way you can access the bed, I think that this will still work, where we can put this... We can put a, uh, a jukebox there. However, this prison is going to make... We can only have a max of, like, four people surviving inside of it before it gets too tight of quarters. Do I care? Oh, no, I don't. Because they're filthy, filthy prisoners. In fact, let's put a window here. It's going to be all, it's gonna be lots of windows. A, to spread light around, but also B, because, you know, they need it. Then let's get them an air vent in here for safety to have airflow from here. Because the hallway is going to be providing most of the airflow from there. And we'll put another vent here to get out to there. Three hours, and then our pirates arrive. Do, 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 stream haven. <laughs> okay. All right. This is it. It's happening. We're ending on an action. You guys have stuck around for so long. The chat has been a lot of fun today. You deserve a little pirate action. So pray for good luck. Is do, What are we missing? Some hull and energy blocks. So unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get shields up in time. Timothor, uh, do internal windows allow you to get away with less lights so save energy? I believe so. Yes, I believe that the windows allow more light bleed. And most of us learn something. Yeah, and I, exactly. And again, I am glad to provide those learnings for you. You know what? I kind of want to put a... Speaking of windows, I want to put a window here. Whoa, what was that? That scared the crap out of me. A new subscriber! Mesta has just subscribed. Welcome aboard the Mesta. Ooh, I should think so. Uh, yeah, possible new crew members. Yeah, Jano, I don't know, though. Remember, we're doing a small run. So possible crew members or possible water supply. Let's move this. Do we need? We don't need two of these. Come on. Let's move that into here. And then we're going to dismantle not this wall. We're going to dismantle this one, this one, and this one. And then that one once the thing is moved. We're going to put a window there. And then those lights will come into here. All right. Sleep well. Brooke? K 
can you okay draft take off the spacesuit you absolute fool all right two hours all right there you are and undraft go have some coffee or something yep one hour okay here it is draft wake up everybody we've got a boarding action to do we have saved the game yeah, Cryclaws is saying I'm, I'd be loading in a shuttle already. Yeah, see, yeah, you're right. I loaded too slow. All right, what are we dealing with? One gun? <laughs> I have three hull stabilizers, dude. You got to come at me with more than one gun. <laughs> you absolute fool. Well, I hope you like being recycled. <laughs> okay, that was a little dark. Okay, okay, all right. Okay, fine. Okay, all right, you're shooting at me. I get it. You hate me. Guys, get in the shuttle a little faster, please. Cry Closet was right. I needed to do that earlier. Okay, but again, we do have... Oh, yeah, we're, we're fine. This is one of my better attacks, so hopefully this goes well. Cut to us boarding and just getting roasted in the face. I hope nobody dies. <laughs> I hope nobody dies. Ugh. <sighs> Uh, well, and if they and if somebody does die, I hope you know, like at least it'll be euphoric. You know what I mean? At least they'll have that euphoria that you all were talking about. Okay, that's good. Bailey is working on the prison, and the boarding is about ready to happen. Man, that thing! Look at that! That's cool how it fires. Cocoon. That's so cool. This is such a great game. All right, I'm not worried about spiking the guns right away. Let's get into here to the safety. Kind of clear out the back section. Oh, we can't get through. Can we just, like, shoot this? Nope. Uh-oh. Okay, this turned into a bad idea. Okay, Jamie, take up a position next to the door here. Okay, I can't tell if that was a good idea or a bad idea. Close the door! <laughs> no, get out of there! Okay, is this good? Is this working? We're taking good hits on Lucy. Brooke is taking a few hits, though. Or we're getting good shots on Lucy, I meant to say. Brooke is starting to take a few too many hits. It's getting a little spicy for... Okay, Lucy's out. Amber is down for the count as well. All right, that's two of the crew. Let's move back into this back section here. The guns fall silent, which means they have left the cons cons console and are now moving to attack. They've formed up. Christopher and Rena have formed up. It's a team of three, so let's get into here and see if we can't cause a bit of a... Hang on. Hang on, come back. Okay. There we are. Try to create a bit of a shooting gallery here. Ooh. Okay, come on in. Come on in. All right, that's not great strategy. We got to figure something out here. Got to watch your O2, but you have a crew loaded and docked beside your ship waiting for the enemy to jump in. They're not going to take my shuttle, are they? I don't know where they've gone, though. What's in this room? Oh, no, that's the same room. Okay. We might just have to charge them. Okay, come down here. Got some coverage behind this thing. There we are. Hank's down. Or, uh, Rena's down. Hank is the only one left to cause a problem. We gotta get out of here. That's bad. Okay, Brooke is good, and okay, we only have one left. It's 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 three on one here. Hank is pretty dangerous, though. I gotta say. Okay, what's in here? We got uh, some spacesuits. Maybe we could up our O2. Actually, oh no, wait, we don't need spacesuits. Oh, get out of there. Hank only has a freaking single firearm, too. He's got a pistol, and he is an absolute murderer. We gotta be careful. We might lose time in here. So let's pull time into the side, bring Zoe and Jamie through with better accuracy anyway. Oh, good hit on Hank. Good hit on Hank, and Hank is down for the count. There it is. We have taken this ship. Jamie, go and accept... Who is our... I mean, Hank would be the best person to talk to, but let's go and accept this person's surrender here. Whew. Retchen says, I like how they attack the line astern like 19th century naval combat. <laughs> Vampy says, probably one minute. He didn't give me a time, but I'm guessing about now. Take all of their prisoner. 
yeah, the I just want to rest my voice for the interview. It's in a couple of hours, and then I have some like editing and stuff to do, so I'm not too bad. All right, continue exploring the rest of the ship. Plenty of O2 on board the ship. Let's go make sure we can claim this thing. And Brooke is drafted again. Brooke, let's draft you, and I want you to start collecting up these prisoners for our brand new prison. Uh, honestly, Hank kind of could have been a good person to bring on board. Uh, Hank was Hank seemed to be quite the fighter. Like he, with a handgun, he was giving us a bit of trouble. If we're being honest. All right, is this ship salvageable now? Yes, it is, and it is absolutely packed to the gills. All right, let's go uh, drop off our prisoners here in our newfangled prison complex, which is looking very good, if I might uh, do say so myself. Permissions, uh, set prisoner area. All right, uh, set prisoner area here, here, and there. There we go. They got a nice little prison now. Uh, uh, we'll fix the refugee thing in a second. Okay, so the prisoners are being brought over. Y'all are able to be undrafted now. Start collecting up the goods. Oh, look at all that stuff. This is massive. What a haul. There you go. Hopefully you liked that boarding action because it is definitely lunchtime for me. I hope you found that to be some truly solid content. Timothor, uh, Vampy says time is irrelevant with me. Yep, that's absolutely true. Timothor says time is an elephant. Uh, very good. <laughs> okay. All right, we're all getting silly with it. Let's be honest. Set refugee area. Let's give... So the refugees, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of room on this ship, so they're going to have to be together. Hit me up in the comments if you want a separate refugee area. We could, do, we could make that work. But for now, this is our prison complex, and it is looking, dare I say, fairly good. And I think we have... Uh, four prisoners. <coughs> Excuse me. Coughed. Uh-oh. I gotta drink some water. Brooke, you're undrafted. Shuttle, undrafted. Guys, go to prison. What are you doing? Yeah, there we go. So we have four, so this will actually work. Two of them will sleep. Two of them can eat. You know. It works. It's not ideal. They're gonna be mad with me. But that's alright, because we're going to sell them for justice. Also, hit me up in the comment. Yeah, it's fun. Exactly. They're going to... So, okay. Some people are voting for separate refugee areas. Some people are voting for the same refugee area so that they at least help convert them. Hello. This man left. Ah, we need more fertilizer. Four and three. Okay, yeah. There's not making fertilizer fast enough. Uh, they're going to the med bay to seek medical attention. That's fine. Uh, you know what else I would like to do? A vote in the game below, in the in the chat below. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a good uh, crew number in my mind. Do we go with another crew member? Do we go to eight? Or is that too many? It's feeling like a lot. I'm going to be honest with you. I want to put a couch here eventually. This is going to have to get redesigned. So right now, this is all feeling like a lot. This just feels like a lot. I just can't. <laughs> if they help convert, then same. Just get bigger space. Uh, check their stats. So you want to see if there's anyone that's good to keep. Uh, research 3. Botany and Construction 3 and 3. Uh, Amber, if she survives. Medical 3. She's a good doctor. Nav. Botany and Construction. Not very accurate with a weapon. I just don't know if I, if these people speak to me. Like, Hank, I think, would have been a good new crew member just because there was a, a fun battle with him. He he held on for a while. I think we took some good shots at him, and he didn't take any damage. A good miner is good to have. Good doctor, shielding, and research is fine. And Rena, Operations 3, Industry 3. But she's kind of boring. Weapons 1, actually 72. Could be good as, as a gunner. So... I think, yeah, I don't think I'm going to juice them. Don't get me wrong. We're going to juice Hank, but I'm not going to juice these ones. They're going to get sent uh, for justice, which makes me some cash cash money. Uh, or we can join, they can join our crew, one of them. I don't want to go much more than eight, though. Like, And I think it's got to be Hank. It's got to be really worth it. Do you know what I mean? At any rate, we can talk about that until the cows come home to roost. But for now, we're going to have to leave it at that. We're going to have to take a look at our sort of our, our creation so far. It's going well. Like, I really like this little prison complex. 
I like how that turned out. It looks clunky, but it kind of works. Hal, you're going to need... <laughs> Hal, you got to get out of the prison. Come on, Hal. I mean, he is the captain, so I guess he's allowed to go there. Maybe he's talking to Lucy and asking, like, all right, where are the others? You know, where are the other pirates? Stuff like that. But again, uh, you know, yeah, get out of there, Hal. This is for the prisoners. These folks are, are using a lot of our medical supplies, so I'm not stoked about that. But hey, I guess we just got to keep them alive so that we can get them to some justice. So that area looks nice. We'll get some guns here eventually. It's getting close to the final product. This bed is now ready, this bedroom. So who did well? Uh, I think, uh, like, Brooke performed pretty well. She's probably, like, one of our MVPs. So let's get her a bed. So this is going to be Brooke's bed. Oh, no, wait, hang on. Uh, yeah, we'll give Scrubs. Scrubs will move to this one. Uh, that'll be the captain's. No, the captain, he should be here. Okay, we're going to move the captain. Sorry, Brooke, you're out. This is Scrubs's now. And Scrubs... Okay, yeah, they switched. Perfect. Okay. Now, who gets this one is the question. Uh, Tymon took a lot of hits. So let's, uh, you know, give him uh, a spot to sleep. Raven, Jamie, and Bailey. So we have one more here. And then uh, just, like, the bunk room could continue. Or we could make another room with all this space. Uh, hit me up in the chat below as well. What do you think we should do with this space? We could have a massive refugee area, I guess. We could just start... You know, piloting refugees around. You know what would be so great? Oh, it would be so awesome if we could be a bus. If we could pick up supplies, or we could pick up people, take on a whole bunch of people, and, like, have to keep them fed and alive, and then get them to, like, a bunch of sectors over. And then uh, what you could do in Space Haven, right, is have a bunch of triggers, right? So as soon as you take a mission, a bunch of little pirates spawn along, the, along your route, and they try to find you as you go. Istvan is saying a second shuttle. Is this a second, a two shuttle ship? We could do that. The only problem is, the only problem is the shuttle is very negative. I don't want to put it this close into the living area. I was also thinking we could just make a gym. <laughs> it's not useful. But yeah, I. You know what? I don't know if that is actually like a really great idea. I kind of feel like it is. I don't feel like it would be hard to implement. I think I'm gonna just. <laughs> I'm just going to, like, find uh, Axel or something and, like, message him and be like, what if this idea? Can we be Space Uber? More industry down here. More storage. We could have a big storage bay in here, I guess. Yeah, storage is running a little low, to be honest. Oh, that got to zero really fast. Good work, uh, bots. There we are. Let's move that. Yeah. A cautious piece falls among the crew of the SCS Reynolds as they collect their winnings from the other ship. A lot there that we can sell. For some reason, no salvage. Okay, no, there we go. We got salvage. We will transfer all this uh, in a bit. We're going to do... We'll do the energy scrap, maybe, and the tech scrap and see what's kind of hiding in the engines and stuff. Uh, we don't want to do the hull just yet because there's enough oxygen that we can continue working on there. The der derelict vessels have been explored and plundered. The mining has been done. This star sector is essentially conquered. So when we come back to Streamhaven, we'll be moving on uh, to boldly go where a lot of uh, pirates and other things have gone before. Weapons locker would be great. Uh, yeah, if we did have another shuttle, we could have a boarding shuttle. That's true. Uh, the king wants me to go get Scott still. Scott has long since been despawned, my friend. Oops, what did I hit? Hopefully nothing. Okay. Oh, I canceled the window. Why did I do that? Yeah, Scott has Scott doesn't exist anymore in the game. <laughs> He's gone. He was executed by the military. Um, it's looking very good. I'm very happy with the direction of this ship. Streamhaven has been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun to hang out with you guys too. I am going to try to uh. Uh, to get some foundation going. But for now, we're going to keep going with Streamhaven. It is too fun to ignore. I hope you all found that to be some solid content. It's nice hanging out with y'all. I hope your weeks are good. I'm going to try to stream one more time, I think, on Saturday uh, before I go for another work trip. Uh, and hopefully that's foundation, if not Streamhaven again. You're all wonderful people, and we will see you all in the next video of whatever it is that we play.